welcome to Jay is for Justice podcast. If live breaking news and following true crime is your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like what you see in my videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. Hello, hello. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Sunday and had a fabulous weekend. Welcome to Jay is for Justice. You know the biz. Like the video, right? Subscribe if you haven't. Um, if you're new here, welcome in and don't be afraid to chat. We have a really nice group. Our mods are the best on YouTube. I hope you guys are doing fabulous. So this is kind of a surprise live for us. I see some new chatters, which I'm really happy to see you guys. Welcome in. What's up, Ryan Bremer in the house? So I was working on a video about Sebastian and I was putting together what I'm calling the hot air from the Proudfoots. I, that's really the only way that I can put it. Good evening, Betty Mc, McW. Debbie McNow. Um, De Debbie or Betty, you're going to find out that I have a lot of sound bites and I do use them. So don't ever be offended. McNow. <laughs> so I was making this video and part of it included this flashlight thing. And so I thought I've got to share this y'all because there's, there is more, I don't have my tinfoil hat on yet, but I should because there's something to this video. A, I don't think that the reporter would have ever put it out. Nick Barris, I think his name is. I don't think he would have ever put it out and said that it was from their neighborhood if it wasn't. But I got to tinkering around with the video a little bit and lightening it and it appears that it may have been darkened purposely but that the person or persons that would be subject one and subject two would know what that video is do you catch my drift i don't believe that it's a garbage truck i ain't buying it and i'm going to tell you why so we're first going to watch Nick Barris, his original video that he put out in the news, because there was like two renditions that he put out. One was a bit longer, but I want you to see what he originally put out. We're going to go in order. Okay. Thank you for being here, by the way. The video you are about to see is from early Monday morning, February 26th, around 310 AM. Now, there are no street lights in the Stafford Court neighborhood, so it is at night pitch black. What you will see here are these two points of light believed to be people with flashlights in the area around Sebastian Rogers' Hendersonville home. It is believed Sebastian left his home barefoot and with a flashlight sometime overnight. Since his disappearance, authorities have reviewed security video from homes in the neighborhood looking for clues. We have had several clips that have come in. And this one is getting the most attention, showing signs of activity around Sebastian's home the night he disappeared. You see, two light sources, which we've circled to help you follow. For point of reference, the security camera was pointed toward the back of Sebastian's home in a common area. In the video, you see subject one. Okay, what I want to make note of is this screenshot that they put up, okay? This aerial screenshot, it's, it's going to come into play later. So let's let's listen in a common area in the video. You see subject one with a light source in the lower right hand corner. Then you see subject two briefly appear and move toward the first before that light source is covered or obscured by bushes. Subject one a few seconds later then moves out of frame. Then subject two reappears and follows subject one off screen. It's a short time later and it's very vague, but then you see one of the subjects moving quickly back through the common area and that is it. I know there's not much to see here. You certainly cannot identify anyone, but those close to the investigation tell me the mere fact that there is now evidence that someone is in the area around Sebastian's home is significant. 
This video shows suspicious activity. Okay, now note again the overhead footage. And I know I'm reading your comments and I know that Seth said it was a garbage truck. I know Seth said it was dark. But you have to remember, TBI or the Sheriff's Department or any of the law enforcement agencies involved have come out and straight up said everything's on the table. No one has been cleared. That includes Seth. Like it or not, it includes Seth. So I'm not saying he's lying, but if he hasn't been ruled out yet, which I don't know why he wouldn't if he clearly had an alibi and he was at work and he could prove he was at work, I don't get why he wouldn't publicly be cleared. That's the question of the day, I guess. But I do know what he said. Okay, so I don't think Nick Bear has got this video and is lying about it. He has no motive to put out a lie. I mean, Nick Barris has been on Sebastian's case trying to interview his stepfather for how long? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. I just wanted to say, I don't, I'm not saying he's lying. I'm saying he's only told what they want him to know. OK, and if it has nothing to do with Seth, but it has something to do with Katie and Chris, they're not going to tell Seth. Right. They're not going to they're not going to share their clues and their evidence with Seth. They're just not. He's emotional. He's looking for his son every day. They're not going to share clues with anybody. Where did TBI say that, though, Katie? I just literally scrolled through their whole thing on Sebastian. I see nothing about them debunking those lights. I did see, though, which people have no, I've never seen anybody talk about, that they were aware that an altered version of Sebastian's flyer was going out there. I wonder who did that. I wonder who did that. Who would alter his TBI things, his TBI posters? Listen, additionally, we have been made aware that an altered version of the official TBI Amber Alert poster has been made and is being circulated throughout social media, indicating that this new poster has been verified. Please be aware that a lot of false information is being posted there are multiple social media channels. The poster our agency has developed and is using is below. And it says right here that he was last seen on February the 26th, 2024, in the area of Stafford Court in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I'll show you what he said. I'll show you what L.E. said. We're going to get there. We're starting at the beginning. Allie Books, I'm glad to have you. Let's finish this first video. This is only step one of 10. In the immediate area, the night Sebastian disappeared. Could one of these subjects have been Sebastian? Did he meet and leave with someone? Sebastian's father says his son would not go with a stranger. It's up in the air for me because I don't think he would get into a vehicle with somebody unless he knew them. So what exactly are we seeing here? I know investigators are doing what they can to try enhancing the video for any more clues. For now, this video is now part of the Sebastian Rogers missing person file. And I'm told it could become more significant depending on where the ongoing investigation leads. We'll be following that. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Katie B says that a content creator put an old photo over his recent one and said it was verified. Why would she do that? Or he, she, why would they do that? Do they know Katie and Chris? Hmm. Why would they put an older picture 
Why would you fuck with a missing kids poster in the beginning? Weird. Okay. Yes, this is from what Nick Barris reported was it was 310, okay, on the night he went missing. So the morning of, like, he went to bed at 9. He said, I love you. She heard a thump at 10. And then at 310 in the morning, there's this shit. Okay. So now we're going to get to what, I, what I'm going to show you. And you're going to be like, whoa, what the fuck? Hold on. And you know what? Y'all can gaslight me all you want. Everybody else speculates. No one says shit. J is for justice speculates. Everyone gets their, gets in a tizzy. I don't make shit up. This is something I legitimately saw. So let's listen. We're going to listen to Chris Lightfoot talk about the video. Law enforcement between local law enforcement, state law enforcement, some federal law enforcement, and they have analyzed that video so many times over that everything that everybody is trying to assume is a flashlight, I'm, I hate to say this, it's not. As much as we would love it to be one, it's not. Um, I'm not going to go into details as far as where that video is shot from. But I can tell you, as the parents, we have seen the video firsthand from law enforcement. We know exactly where it was taken from. And nothing that is being assumed right now is actually true about that video, unfortunately. Okay. And anything about other, any other videos or anything like that, please refer to the TBI news link that they have out there, the Am updated Amber Alert stuff. I did, Chris Proudfoot. That's where I just was, actually. I was just on the TBI news link that you like to refer everyone to, Mr. Chris. There ain't a damn thing on there about your lights. And it will give you the most up-to-date information that all inf uh, law enforcement has, and they will give you current as far as what's what, and how they're looking at things. Value. It is. Okay, so here is the sheriff or the chief or whoever. I think he's the, I don't know who he is, Sumner County. Here is what he had to say to Nick Barris after Nick Barris got hell, right? Everybody jumped on Nick Barris. It's a fucking garbage truck, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't mean anything. It has no evidentiary value. Okay, well, listen to law enforcement. From their mouth. It is of no evidentiary value. Can you tell me what those lights are? No. Why? Because the investigation remains ongoing. And so it could play a role down the road depending on developments? We don't know what we don't know. So yes, it could play a role. What does that tell you? If it was nothing, he would say, oh no, that was the garbage truck going through at that moment. That was, you know, American garbage. That was their regularly scheduled route once we looked into it. Can you tell me what they are? Fuck no, he can't. You know why? Because that shit's part of the file. They don't have to tell them it's evidence. They don't have to tell them anything. This dude's not going to lie about that. Like, if he could clear it up, he would. The last thing they want is more freaking speculation and and bullshit right let's listen to him again i mean it's it's he's telling us without telling us yes it means something because no i can't tell you what the fuck it is we just haven't pieced it all together yet we can't let subject one and subject two let them know that we think it's something important what fucking garbage can goes through a, a residential neighborhood of that caliber even at three in the morning? They don't run that early and they're damn sure not going through a residential neighborhood with six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar homes because I guarantee you 
that Marge down the street would be calling them saying this, you better knock it the fuck off. They're not doing that at three in the morning. That's why they had to change the time. Oh, it wasn't 310. It was five. Because that's when fucking garbage starts running. 5 a.m., right? Oh, boy. Okay, so let's listen to um, Sumner County again. I think that's where he's from, if I'm not mistaken. It is of no evidentiary value. Can you tell me what those lights are? No. Why? Because the investigation remains ongoing. And so it could play a role down the road depending on developments? We don't know what we don't know. So yes, it could play a role. Okay, so this is the longer video that he put out. We're just gonna let this play. Then I have some screenshots after this we're gonna look at. I'm telling you, y'all are gonna shit. They're gonna shit your pants. Yeah, I mean, garbage trucks have blinkers. They have fucking lights all over the motherfuckers. They're not two sets of headlights. Come on now. And these these lights are so far apart. How is it a fucking truck? And I'm sure other people have gone over this footage and they're experts and they know what the fuck they're talking about. This is just me finding this today. So don't gaslight about someone did this, that. I don't know. All I know is I saw this shit today and I'm like, I got to go live and show you. Wait till I put it in perspective. Y'all are going to shit. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here is the first screenshot, okay? So this is, do you see this little box? La, 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 okay. la, la. I know y'all can see that. Can you see the box around, let me get my pointer, hold on. I'm gonna have to point, I have to point this out because everyone's gonna be like, eh, it's not, I don't see it. So I'll just get it out now, meow. And thank you guys who are here chatting. I appreciate you. Okay, here we go. All right. So if you look here, this light doesn't change too much, okay? Let me just hear me out. And then if you look in this area as I go through these screenshots, you're going to see as I lighten the whole thing, you're going to see a box, okay? So be looking in that area just to give you an idea. And this is why I put in the title, Hear Me Out. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Now do you see where that box is? I mean, it's so vague. But see the box? Okay, so now we have this box. <laughs> we have this box here. This is the regular video, okay? This is this lightened up. This is the same scene, except I lightened it up and tweaked it. And then when I tweaked it, it created this scene, which looks layered, right? Like you have trees. It almost looks like you're looking from the top down, does it not? Does that not look like an aerial view, like maybe a Google Earth satellite or some shit, like captured that image? Because that seems awfully strange to me, right? Because that spot lightened up that whole box. It wasn't there in the first one. And I'll play the video again for you. Yes, it looks like a fucking aerial view. So now if you go back, look, see, you can barely see that box. And then you see where Nick has superimposed the actual aerial view on top in another part of the video. Okay? So he's like covering up something in that video. 
Because if you look at that or drone, I don't know why someone would be droning at three in the morning, though. So look at that and then look at this. It's the same fucking picture, except it's darkened. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go a step further. Okay, let's go back to the actual video and I'll show you. Look, we'll play it again. Oh, so yes, it could play a role. This is just the plain old video. Okay, so let me pause it on the actual video. I will go into my tools on my OBS and I'll lighten it from there. It looks like the Simpsons. No, it just, it looks like that aerial view, but it's, it's weird. It's a satellite view. Um, it's definitely not a garbage truck, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right, so if I take this as the original video, you just saw me playing it, right? Let's take our, oh, that's, that's too much. Turn the brightness up. There's something weird with this, y'all. I'm not saying I've got it figured out, but I'm looking for you guys to give me some input because I think this could be an overhead. And I'm wondering what in the F these big lights are over here. But I'm going to show you on the map where this exactly is, too. So let's do this again. Y'all, I'm fr I was freaking out. Okay, where did that video go? Okay, let's play this. That's with the video tweaked, right? Wait, fuck, where'd it go? There's no overlay in this one, but look at how it's black. And I'm going to show you that black spot is where their effing house is. And Christina, you're fine to believe that. I don't think it's a nothing burger. I think there's more to it. I'm not, and I'm not saying Seth is lying. Seth is not cleared, right? Everybody's a suspect. They're not going to tell him anything. I don't know why you guys think that Nick Barris would lie. That's what I want to know. Why do you think Nick Barris would lie? What reason would he have to lie? He's got no reason to lie. So anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. I'm going to show you some more. Let me get rid of this filter. Y'all crack me up. You guys are a tough crowd. You're a tough crowd. Well, I mean, he may know the truth, but maybe they said, hey, don't say shit because we, you know, we, we aren't sure who these people are yet. We still have to figure out, you know, because Chris Proudfoot didn't call 911. He called the sheriff's department directly. So guess what? There's no location for Chris Proudfoot. So they have to put all this shit together. And Chris Proudfoot says, Proudly, the Proudfoot says, this is going to be a case they're going to study. It's got them stumped. He's proud. A flung. What media lied in Idaho, though? Crime and conspiracies. I'm just wondering, what motive does Nick have to lie? He's been trying to get Chris Proudfoot to talk to him. To raise awareness about his missing stepson. Chris Proudfoot won't go near anybody with a penis.
Seth did say it was a garbage truck. I heard him say it, but it doesn't mean that he's been told facts. Or it doesn't mean that he's going to divulge. Just because he's on YouTube doesn't mean he's going to divulge every fucking thing he knows. This is still his son. It's more than a YouTube show. Okay. It's way too coincidental on the same night. I, I agree. I mean, it's ludicrous to think it's not relevant. Um, so the next thing, hold on. Let me get off this video. Let's go to these screenshots again. Okay, now you see that, right? We're all on the same page. This is just brightened up. This is Nick's video brightened up. And we can see the little box. But in the regular video, that little box is hidden. It's hidden because they darkened it. So they darkened it. And then if you lighten it, voila. There it is. And then here is another section of Nick's video with the freaking overhead that you see here. So now we're going to go a little deeper. And we are going to look at the map. I'm telling you, y'all are going to shit your pants. I'm not done with you yet. Okay. Let's get this down here. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you, honey bun, in about two seconds, what you think that could be. So if you look here, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in in a second. But if you look here, okay, you see the construction site. Let's go over a little bit. Um, the red pin is obviously the Proudfoot's house. And then you see the construction site over here. Okay, that's where the retention pond is. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the other day that Narked Divers on YouTube we're actually searching a pond or the retention pond there in their neighborhood, right? Um, and they found a ball cap that said Vivint or Vivint, whatever that's called, Vivint, which is the home security company, right? And we all know, you know, Proudfoot Katie was working for Brinks or whatever it was. Okay. Well, I just found it a little ironic and I was like, oh, I felt sick to my stomach when I saw the hat and they gave it to TBI and TBI bagged it up or the authorities bagged it up, took it. The cap had like the snapback and the snaps were um, real close together. You know, when you try to put a hat on and you have a small head, you have a little kid and you have to put it on the last little snap. That's what it was like. It was like it was on a kid's head. And I wonder if someone didn't throw it in there after it was drained. Because Chris Proudfoot said himself, so is that a joint? well, I don't know when you saw it, but there was a lot of runoff now. When he was talking to narc divers on the phone. I don't know when you saw it, but there's a lot of runoff now. So, could they have tossed something in there? Seth has worked security companies for years. Did you see his LinkedIn? No, I did not, Katie B. Damn. Thank you, Angel P, for joining. Mm -mm. crime and conspiracies the guy who who found it i watched him in a video he held it and he said 
we gave it to TBI and they bagged it. He didn't say anything about a searcher said it was their hat and they dropped it in a manhole. What? Okay. Anyways, let's keep going. So here's the overhead of their house. Okay. There's the construction site. Now we're going to go down and I'm going to show you exactly the screenshot that Nick put up. It's at the corner of Stafford Court and Kelly Lane. As you can see, the Proudfoot's home is right there with the pin. Okay. So now that we've got that mapped out, let me scooch that over to the side. And then I'm going to show you what we're looking at. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. So y'all see this, right? And then if you look at this map, you see that dark green on the corner. That's Stafford. So I'm going to shrink this down to what they have on here approximately. Okay. The best I can. Just so you get a good idea of the area that we are looking at. Okay. So it's going to be something like going to be something like this, but more on an angle. They have it more on an angle. Okay. So an angle might not be directly spot on, whatever, but you see what I see, right? Let me know if you're on the same page. Sherry, thank you so much. Flung. All right, so we're looking at the same overhead, correct, Amando? All right. La, la, Let's la, go back la, now. La. You don't hold a count. So you see this? See how the picture covers that entire thing up right there? What is that covering? Is my question. Okay. I don't know that, Sarah. I don't know. I mean, it's huge in Colorado, too. I don't know. But if you see the overhead right, and then we go back, those big-ass lights at the top are covered, right? And where would those lights fall, right? Where would they fall? If we open up our map, okay? Let's go back to the bright-ass lights. Okay. So now we're going to expand this map a little bit, okay? Because you know exactly where we're looking, correct? The lights are coming from where? They're coming from up here, right? They're coming from right around here, correct? God, I just sounded like Shannon, correct? Why were you telling her not to fuck herself? So can we agree that despite the angle, approximately that bright ass light is coming from where my yellow thing is? Okay. Let's expand our map. Oh, whose house is that where those bright ass Lights would be if we go by this overhead. Hmm? Let's just look at this by itself. Those lights would be from this side of the Proudfoot's house, wouldn't it?
What do you guys think? Because this is their house. So what would be so effing bright from this area of their home? If that's correct. What's on that side of the house? What would be lighting up like that? Now let's look again so you don't think you're fooled. This is the original video. Okay, we don't see the overhead in that one, but I brighten it up. We see the overhead. It brightens everything in the photo up like layers, almost like, you know, a aerial satellite view. And then here we have the actual view. And if you look where those damn lights were, he covered them up. Look where they were, though. They were right at the fucking Proudfoot's. And then if you go a little bit deeper, right, we, we not only have that part of it, but we have subject one and subject two. So we need to go a little deeper with subject one and subject two right now. Because something's going on in this video with, with a couple people. Now check this out. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a count. If we look at subject one and subject two, let's bring this forward. If we look at subject one and subject two, in comparison to the lights, I don't know why I made that so big. In comparison to the lights, okay? Hear me out again. Okay, there's the regular footage. There's it lightened up. Now I'm going to go back to the normal where they Play show a role subject, down the road depending on developments. Subject we don't one know and what subject we don't two. Know. Watch. So yes, it could play a role. You're awesome. So you see those lights, which I'm thinking might be by the house. See this person, subject one. Where would that put subject one, guys? Not enough room on these screens. Okay, so here's subject one. All right. If we have the Proudfoots, remember that area that I put in yellow, which was over here on this side. And then we would have subject one would be huh, going over towards Kelly Lane. And we've all heard uh, Chris Proudfoot talk about the road that leads to the retention pond from his house. If you just go down They're Kelly awesome. Lane, I feel like that's where subject one. But watch. This is so strange. Watch. And we don't know, like, how long of a span this actually lasts. But look, subject one is there for a long time in that same area. It's going near the pond, yeah. But another question I had is, what is this big light then? Down here. Uh... This one. Shit. I lost it. But anyways, what's the big light in the bottom left corner? What would that equate to? Would that equate to possibly... Hang on, I got a I got a reference with my other screenshots. Hold on. So that big light down at the bottom, that's interesting as well. And I'm not sure what that is. OK. 
because it's it's really weird, isn't it? Well, I don't know what that would be unless. Oh, oh snap. Is that like a reflection of headlights, guys? Hold on. La, 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 okay. la, la. I can't see you the whole thing. The Hear me out here. Okay. Check this out, guys. Watch, okay, this is crazy. Watch the big light that we said was by the Proudfoots and then watch the, like, the top light versus the bottom light. It looks like headlights reflex, reflecting, doesn't it? But then it stops. Or is it just out of the out of the frame. So whose headlights are those at 310 in the morning? There's no street lights. Nick said not one street light in that area. You're awesome. Do y'all think that that's a reflection of headlights? La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a count. And did Katie, this is my question. So here's a little theory I have. Here's a theory I have. Did Katie lock Sebastian out of the house? And is Sebastian actually subject one? Is Sebastian subject one? Because it's there, the person's there for a while. And then subject two comes after them. Right? So then subject two is in that same area. It's weird. And listen to what Chris Proudfoot says again. Is TBI Newslink has released a statement from law enforcement, between local law enforcement, state law enforcement, some federal law enforcement, and they have analyzed that video so many times over that everything that everybody is trying to assume is a flashlight, I'm, I hate to say this, it's not. As much as we... And mind you, I put them side by side because I wanted to see her face while he's talking and his face while she's talking. I'd love it to be one. It's not. Um, I'm not going to go into details as far as where that video is shot from, but I can tell you as the parents, we have seen the video firsthand from law enforcement. We know exactly where it was taken from and nothing that is being assumed right now is actually true about that video, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Like, why would you even, like, why would you want that to be true? Like, wh what he's saying doesn't even make sense. She won't even look up. And I'm telling you right now, stop gaslighting me with saying Seth is lying. That's BS and you know it. I'm not calling him a liar. <laughs> okay. And anything about other, any other videos or anything like that, please refer to the TBI news link. It's it is It is behind their house. It is in the common area. I, that's what we just looked at. It's It's literally an overhead view. La, looking la, down la, 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 la. on Stafford and Kelly. They have out there the am updated Amber Alert stuff, and it will give you the most up-to-date information that all inf uh, law enforcement has, and they will give you current as far as what's what and how they're looking at things. Okay, well, I went to the TBI site, and I read everything. Not one damn thing on there about the lights.
Not one thing, not saying it's irrelevant, not saying it's relevant, not saying it's a garbage truck, not saying it's not a garbage truck, not a damn thing. And for all of you that keep saying, Seth wouldn't lie, Seth wouldn't lie. I never said he would. But you have to ask yourselves, is Seth a suspect? Let me reword that. Has Seth been ruled out? Has Seth been ruled out? Yes or no? Put your answer in the chat. Has Seth been ruled out by the authorities? Yes or no? I'm waiting to see your answers. I'm really curious what you guys think. Amber says, yes, he has. What's up, Shell? Thank you, Shell. Barbara Ann, no one has been cleared. No one. Pam says he's been ruled out. Okay, if he has not been cleared, why do you think he would have key evidence information, key investigative information? He hasn't been ruled out. No one has. Not one person. It's not a satellite. It's someone's ring cam. Whatever you want to believe. I see what I see and you see what you see. But you don't need to come in here and go LOL and gaslight me. You know, everybody else on this platform can sit around every fucking night, six, seven, eight hours and speculate like a mother. But Jay is for justice does it because she finds something that she thinks is relevant. And it's LOL, like whatever. No one has been ruled out of this situation. If he has a legit alibi, it would be very easy to rule him out. BD, I haven't even been cleared. I'm a fucking suspect. Everyone's awesome. a suspect right now. And if this dude wants you to believe without a fact, I am so sorry, he says. You're awesome. I am so sorry that you want to believe that's a flashlight, but I hate to bust your bubble, he says, but it's not. That makes me think it probably is. Because I don't believe a word that comes out of this guy's mouth. I don't know if he did anything to Sebastian. He might be covering up for wife, his wifey. That ain't no ring cam. There ain't no ring cams. It is of no. There's no ring cams in common areas, right? And then if you don't think it's relevant, let's listen. Because Chris told me, Chris said, go to the authorities and listen to what they say. Okay, well, we're going to do that right now. Ready? Value? It is of no evidentiary value. Can you tell me what those lights are? No. Why? Because the investigation remains ongoing. And so it could play a role down the road depending on developments? We don't know what we don't know. So, yes, it could play a role. So, yes, it could play a role. We don't know what we don't know. It means they're still putting pieces together. That's what... Quote, the investigation is ongoing means, end quote. There is sound in the background, but I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if Nick was, you know, recording it from somebody else. Like if, you know, somebody leaked it to him and said, here, you know, you can record this. And he recorded it with his phone. I don't know how the fuck he recorded this. So I can't, I can't say the audio is somebody that took it or if it's you know nick standing in a room with someone he knows from you know the sheriff's department they said here you go put this out and he used his phone and it's the audio in the room it could be either way but i'm telling you the tbi knows exactly what these lights are because it's deliberately darkened it's deliberately darkened station remains ongoing and so it could play a role down the road depending on developments? 
we don't know what we don't know. So yes, it could play a role. Again, you see this this big light up here at the top left. And again, it's just the same night that Sebastian goes missing in this little quaint little neighborhood that people are not normally probably out at three in the damn morning. Right? So if we're looking here and subject one is walking from where the big lights are, which is the red pin, where the Proudfoot's house is, and they are walking this way, I don't know what direction that is, but this way over towards Kelly Lane. And if we keep going past Kelly Lane, where do we end up? We end up at that freaking construction site where Sebastian's scent was, where Max the dog ran to and dove in the water. The same damn retention pond that there was a hat found in that says Vivint after authorities searched it and drained it. All of this can't be irrelevant. It just can't be. We have a boy that went missing without a damn trace. Exactly. Seth said, even the video of his son taking the garbage out was too dark for him to see. So is it coincidence that on the same night that Sebastian Rogers went missing, there happens to be this weird footage that's darkened, that has an overhead view that we're being told is home security camera footage, but then we're being told it's a garbage truck and it's neither. It's neither. And I don't think Seth is lying. I don't think Seth has his mind in the right place to think of a lie. I think he's just reporting what he's been told. And that doesn't mean he's a bad person. But it means there's an ongoing investigation. It's very weird. I want to show you Nick's original video again. Now that we've covered like where this pin is and where this weird overhead I'm going to fast forward to my screenshots again and show you like there's this whole video. You see like this reflection of something. It could be a flashlight, y'all. <coughs> Hold on. That could be some kind of a light because look at how it's in like a circular. I'm not trying to be weird here or anything. It may not be headlights. Do these people have like floodlights? Could that be a floodlight? Let's take a look at the outside of the Proudfoot's house really fast and see if maybe that's a floodlight. Hmm. Okay, let's go here. Here's Zillow. I spy with my little freaking eye something out back. Look at this. Look at this, guys. What do we have in the Proudfoot's back freaking yard but a huge floodlight. See that? That floodlight might just reflect on some freaking trees over here. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Awesome. I mean, it's possible. What do you think? What do you think? Oh man. Someone was just so unlucky. The night that Sebastian Rogers went missing without a trace, might I add, without a trace, someone happened to get a flat tire and that's all it is. But we're being told it was a fucking garbage truck. We're being told it was home security footage. We're being told all these things.
So let's go back to the other side of their house. Oh, there's their porch too. So as you can see, their fence, it's not like, oh, they'd have to climb a fence. Dude, that fence is like decoration. It's not that big. It's not like it's a tall privacy fence. I mean, how tall is Sebastian? 5'9"? Hold on. I'm just getting through these. That's the front, okay? That's the garage side, which they have the two lights above the garage doors. I know. But then if we go... It doesn't show that side, does it? I have to go back here. Okay, hold on. Bear with me a minute. Let's go over here. And this would be like about where you know, it would be. It would be on this side, right? Because Stafford and Kelly would be down this way. You go around this corner and then you run into Kelly. So we're right at Stafford and Kelly is right down there. So this is the side of the Proudfoot's home. But the thing is, there's trees and I cannot see what is on this side of the home. I don't know if they have or if someone else has footage, but look at there's trees covering it. So I'm not sure if there's another light in the corner here, but I mean, that fence is really... Not a big deal. And usually they have gates. I mean, don't people that get fences usually have like an opening? Keep in mind the trees didn't have so many leaves. That's such a good point, Calamax. Thank you. Do they have tall bay windows that would light up if they had all the lights on inside? Hmm. I don't see any bay. Let's go back to the Zillow, though. Let's go. I don't know what room that would be on the side there. Do you guys know? Oh, fuck. It's all windows, y'all. Look at that. It's a whole wall of windows. Whoever said that, you're a genius. You're a genius. It's a wall of windows. Look. Holy hell. If you have lights on in there, that bitch is going to be lit up. You've got... Look at that. You got all these windows. Shit. And then you've got this porch. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a camera. Hmm. What do you think? Trask collectors aren't going to walk through yards. They're going to stay on the same road. They, they run zigzag to each side of the road. Brittany J Jays for Justice. I'm an eye shot neighbor. I can can are you saying confirm? Brittany, anybody, if y'all live near these people and if I'm on to something, let me know. Send me an email. All right, let's watch the video again, okay? Because I see your questions. Let's watch it. I'll make it bigger. Let's do this. And I'm loving it. You know, give me your ideas, your comments, because there's something to la, this. La, I'm la, telling la, you. La, la. you I can feel it. All right. Here is Nick's full footage. Going. And so it could play a role down the road, depending on developments? We don't know what we don't know. So, yes, it could play a role. Just not sure that could be the windows, though. But we know subject one is over towards Kelly Lane. They may be, that person may be even on Kelly Lane. Yeah. 
And you're going to see subject two pop up here in a minute. They said they had floodlights and said they weren't on that night. Well, if their floodlights show in a video, they might say that. So now we see like that weird reflection thing. Now we see subject two. Look how quick they're going too. And then they're kind of in in one spot for a minute. I feel like the lights bottom left could be like a reflection, but I'm not I'm not sure. Oh, Kelly Lynn Lane? I thought it was Kelly Lane. So there again is my screenshot. And then that's where I lightened it up. And like I said, it was blacked out. Um, and then it, it became layered like this. It's really weird. It's almost like, you know what else I wondered, guys? I wondered if this part with the box. Okay. Hear me out. I know this is going to, this is, okay. What if this part with the box, you know, the zoomed in, the aerial view here, what if the rest of it were one and two are, are actually zoomed in of this part? Does that make sense? Let me know if you guys understand that. Let me know if that makes sense. If not, I'll try to explain it in another way. So what I'm saying is like, where the hell is my pointer? Oh, here she is. Look. Okay, so what I'm saying about this is if you look like at these lights here, right? What if this whole box is literally this part, this whole part is zoomed in of that? You get what I'm saying? Do you think that that's a zoomed in version of the smaller version? And maybe these lights are zoomed in on? La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a camera. The lights wouldn't get smaller, but it would be more, Um, you'd get more zoomed in on it. Like you'd find the source of the light versus all of the reflection around the light. Like if they tweaked it and then zoomed it in, I mean. Like if the TBI tweaked it and then zoomed it in. I'm saying what if one is regular and the other part is zoomed in? Deb Mosier. Let me see. I'm I'm sorry. I haven't been reading all the comments. Deb Mosier, if taken from a satellite, could the moving light be heat signatures and not actual lights? <sighs> it, it it yeah. For la, sure. La, 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 la. You don't hold For it. sure it could be. You guys want to watch it brightened up? Okay. Let me show you now. This is the overhead. And you can see that's where the lights are right there where I have it circled. See how there's the lights and then lights. And then, but see, if you look, there really is two distinct circles. I know I'm not losing it here, y'all. If you look right here, look, that's almost a perfect circle. I'll, I'll delete this in a second, but look here and look here. 
that's almost a per two perfect circles with look reflection going this way right it's like two perfect circles with reflection going that way watch i'm going to delete see that circle 1 right here that's circle 1 circle 2 and then this shit right here is the freaking reflection. What do you think? Hmm. And then this could be it zoomed in with the reflection kind of taken out, like darkened. That's why it's darkened, y'all. They had to darken it to get rid of the reflection. Okay, so watch. I'm just talking this through with y'all, okay? Thank you for, for hearing me out. But if you look here, see how faint subject one is? And then if you look here, where I lightened it, look how big it is. That's because I lightened it up, y'all. See this? See how faint subject two is and those lights? But look, when I brighten it up, it's bright as hell. So let's go over and put this back on. Okay, this is where Nick originally released this. And I want you guys to watch this footage one more time. And then we'll play my video brightened up. Okay. Let's go over to Nick. Oops. Okay, here we go. The video you are about to see is from early Monday morning, February 26th, around 3.10 a.m. Now, there are no street lights in the Stafford Court neighborhood, so it is at night, pitch black. What you will see here are these two points of light believed to be people with flashlights in the area around Sebastian Rogers' Hendersonville home. It is believed Sebastian left his home barefoot and with a flashlight sometime overnight. Since his disappearance, authorities have reviewed security video from homes in the neighborhood looking for clues. We have had several clips that have come in. And this one is getting the most attention, showing signs of activity around Sebastian's home the night he disappeared. You see, two light sources, which we've circled to help you follow. For point of reference, the security camera was pointed toward the back of Sebastian's home in a common area. In the video, you see subject one with a light source in the lower right-hand corner. Then you see subject two briefly appear and move toward the first before that light source is covered or obscured by bushes. Subject one, a few seconds later, then moves out of frame. Then subject two reappears and follows subject one off screen. It's a short time later and it's very vague, but then you see one of the subjects moving quickly back through the common area and that is it. Mm. I know there's not much to see here. You certainly cannot. Okay. I don't think Nick Barris is lying. So I'm going to choose to um, believe him. Okay. Fuller adventures. Let me go back and see what you said. I'm sorry. I can't see it. TV. I didn't release this video. Nick source wasn't someone in LE. Do you, how do you know that though? Fuller adventures. Like, how do you know for sure? Because he said this is officially part of the Sebastian Rogers case. That's what they're calling a common area. Melissa B. looks like a screenshot that is laid over a video that is zoomed out. There's no street lights, but maybe solar lights. That would be pretty bright for a solar light, wouldn't it? not identify anyone, but those close to the investigation tell me the mere fact that there is now evidence that someone is in the area around Sebastian's home is significant. This video shows suspicious activity in the immediate area the night Sebastian disappeared. Could one of these subjects have been Sebastian? Did he meet and leave with someone? Sebastian's father says his son would not go with a stranger. It's up in the air for me because 
I don't think he would get into a vehicle with somebody unless he knew them. So what exactly are we seeing here? I know investigators are doing what they can to try enhancing the video for any more clues. Enhancing, for now, this you hear that? Enhancing, they're working to enhance the video. This video is now part of the Sebastian Rogers missing person file. And I'm told it could become more significant depending on where the ongoing investigation leads. We'll be following that. Nick Barris. Thank you, Nick Barris, for your awesome work. And again, if you go to the TBI newsroom where Chris Proudfoot directs us, there is not a damn thing in this entire write-up about those lights. Not debunking them, not saying they exist. Nothing. Nothing. I just had a thought. The movement could be the trees moving in the wind, actually, and making it look like the lights are moving. So true. And we don't know what we don't know is basically this. At this stage in the investigation, there are few clues to indicate what happened to Sebastian or where he may be. There is not proof at this time that there is any criminal element involved with his disappearance. But also, there is not any proof that there is not a criminal element involved. So agents and investigators are reviewing any possibility at all that may indicate where Sebastian is. Nick is dismissive about upper, upper light cluster. Other two are labeled... Subject one and two are zoomed in. I think so too, Gray Pearl. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, I don't know what videos you're talking about, Fuller. I mean, I'm looking at the video from the original. From the original uh, report. I don't know what I'm what I'm missing from that, but. Um, you can email me. Sure. All right. So let's go back. And I told you guys we would play the video. Um, let me show you again the windows in the Proudfoot's home. There's a whole wall of windows right by their back porch. Um, and I will show you in Zillow, there is a picture of the garage and there is a light on. It's right here. There's actually, if you, if you zoom in here, you can see like the trees covering, but there's a light above that single garage door and there's a light above the double garage door. But I don't believe that's the side that we are interested in, guys. I think because that overhead view is coming from the corner of. Hold on. I think we need to be worried about this side of the house. Because I think that it's possible. See, there is a little service door there as well for the garage. But. Katie is insisting he went out this front door. But even if he went out the front door, he could have walked over here and along the fence line. I mean, you don't have to go through their fence. Look how small their fenced area is. So what they're calling the common area is right beyond that fence. There's like an easement. When you live in neighborhoods like this, there's easements. That's what I would call an easement. Oh, they can and will lie to us, T. Harrison, to protect an investigation? Absolutely. It wouldn't be hard to get around this fence. I mean, the service door is not in the fenced area. The service door is outside of the fenced area. So you wouldn't really need to be in the Yorkie shit in place because that's probably all that is. It's probably full of Yorkie shit. 
As a matter of fact, no one probably even walked out there because there's probably Yorkie shit. It looks like that's exactly why she has it. She likes to put her dogs out there. So if we take this, and I appreciate you guys, you, you guys with your pr- constructive comments, and I might be completely off here. I don't know. I just, when I lightened that up, I was like, whoa, that's strange. That's weird. So, but if we go down Stafford, this is Kelly Lynn. Okay. So if we go down Kelly Lynn, let's just mosey a little bit down. Don't make coffee, folks. We're not staying long. We're just creeping. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to look through to the Proudfoots. Here you can see, do-do-do, maybe this isn't the right view. Hold on. Wrong one. I think I went too far. They're just not quite that far. I think it's through here. Yes, there is the Proudfoots porch. Look. Oh, lo and behold, look, there's the back of their house. Now, look, this is all full of trees, but like somebody else said, those trees would not be so full in February, correct? Thanks. Thanks, Salsa. Oh, Kel Lynn, whatever. Kelly Lynn, Kel Lynn. Regardless, we're we're trying to figure out if these lights lead back to Sebastian Rogers. I'm not really worried about the pronunciation of the street names in his neighborhood. I'm more worried about where this boy is because there's no sign of him. But if you keep going down Kel Lynn, okay, like Chris Proudfoot explained to us, that down here at the end of Kel Lynn, well, this has taken us old, but now this is where the neighborhoods are meeting, according to the Proudfoot. See this? Kel Lynn, and then there's Devon Court. And when you listen to the dispatch audio, they search Devon Court. They were all over Devon Court when they were searching. Then if you go down here, this is where they're continuing their road and making this new neighborhood, and then boom, you've got your damn retention pond. Silver's on the scene. I think the video is from the front. Think LE is saying back and not telling us the truth. If it's the front, And the two bright lights are over the garage. But that doesn't make sense, though. I understand what you're saying. Totally, 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 totally understand what you're saying. But if you take, all right, let's close this. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all for anybody who's covered this. This is something I just found tonight. And I'm just like, there is more to this. So here is the video. I promised that I would play it. I would lighten it up a bit because what's hiding in here, what they've hidden is what's interesting. And they hid it by darkening it. This video has been tweaked and I don't think it's been tweaked by Nick Barris. I think it was tweaked by L.E., Because Nick Barris didn't pull this out of his butt. I mean. And it's it's clearly looks to me like. Over the head foot overhead footage. La 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 la. You don't hold a count. I mean, you can see where they've covered it up. With like a screenshot overlay. And I feel like where it's black is where the Proudfoot's home is. But I'll go ahead and play it because I didn't do this yet. So I'm kind of nervous what it's going to look like because I don't know. Okay, here we go. So you can see I've brightened it up, okay? Right? Here we go. Investigation remains ongoing. And so it could play a role down the road depending on developments? 
we don't know what we don't know. So yes, it could play a role. See, those other lights don't change. So I don't think, I don't think it could be that zoomed in because those other lights stay the same. And you see subject one over there. Awesome. On the edge of the frame. Someone said, watch up in the right, upper right hand corner. I mean, do you guys think it's heat censored? I don't have Google Earth Pro. I, Raising Grace, that is out of my realm of expertise. I'm, I hate to say that, but it is. I can definitely try. I don't think the cops are dismissing this at all. I really don't. Yeah, what is going on in the upper right corner? Look how bright it is. Something is definitely going on in this video. Can we agree about that? I mean, it does look layered like heat sensor. It looks like somebody walking in the corner. Hmm. Hey, Molly, go heavier. <laughs> That's where I brightened it up. It's just, I feel like it's so zoomed in. I do too, but it's just so hard. Like, No. Why? Because the investigation remains ongoing. And so it could play a role down the road depending on developments? We don't know what we don't know. So yes, it could play a role. Why is the square black in the video? It's like they put a screenshot overlay is what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it's like the cops put a overlay like, OK, let's map out like this. OK, let's map out where the house actually is. Let's put an aerial view over top of it so we can know where we're looking at. So they match the overview with this photograph. And that is where your freaking lights are at the Proudfoot house. I mean, it's clear. Oh my gosh, it's Mike. What's up, Mike? I haven't seen you in a while. They could be trash guy headlamps we are seeing. But why would trash guys walk through yards? They're not going to do that. They're going to stay. Thank you, Mike, for your super sticker. But I think that the trash guys are going to stay on the same road. You're awesome. The neighbors said garbage is at 6 a.m., not 3 a.m. It does look zoomed in. Fuller, I will. I can't check my email while I'm live. I'm sorry. I'll check it after, though. And we'll definitely revisit this, guys. I'm not saying this is the last time I'll talk about it. I just noticed it tonight, and I got... 
I was a little flipped out. I was like, whoa, something's up with this. Something's definitely going on there in this video. I feel like 3 a.m. is way too early for trash guys, and I don't know. The white area looks like the screen. Okay. Nice, Marie. To me, my opinion, the white area looks like the screen sunroom. The floodlight looks walking in the house. With... Looks like the floodlight looks walking in the house with flashlights. Just my opinion. Are we thinking that we think... Okay, I also think it's coincidental that they're saying it's a trash truck when it was reported that the trash was heavier than normal when they spoke to the trash guys. Oh my gosh, Terry, that would be wonderful. That might really help me kind of see what I'm looking at here. Jay, I live in near a new housing development. The construction trash gets picked up at 2 to 3. My son... As a friend who does that job, they do it too awesome. dangerous for traffic during the day. Maybe in the construction zone. <laughs> Woody Wood says it could be a UFO. Hell oh, yeah, it could. It could be anything at this point. I just feel like that is zoomed in. I think Melissa B., I think you're right. And Chris Proudfoot wants us to think that is just so irrelevant. That's another thing that makes me think. Is TBI Newslink has released a statement from law enforcement between local law enforcement, state law He's enforcement. He's lying. Some federal law enforcement, and they have analyzed that video so many times over. Wait, he just said they released a fucking statement. Chris Proudfoot, you're lying. He's lying. Listen. Is... TBI Newslink has released a statement from law enforcement between local law enforcement, state law enforcement, some federal law enforcement, and they have analyzed that video so many times over that everything that everybody is trying to assume is a flashlight, I'm, I hate to say this, it's not. As much as we would love it to be one, it's not. Bullshit. Um, I'm not going to go into details as far as where that video is shot from, but I can tell you, as the parents, we have seen the video firsthand from law enforcement. We know exactly where it was taken from, and nothing that is being assumed right now is actually true about that video, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm going to take what he freaking says, why I don't know, and we're going to go over back to the actual TBI website where he said la, numerous la, la, law la, enforcement la, la, agencies put out statements on this. No, they didn't. No, they You're didn't. Awesome. Let's go back. Do I need to read this whole effing thing? Because he's lying. And if he's lying, there is a reason. He's not going to tell us. There's a. He's hoping that all the people on, on the internet won't actually go to the TBI newsroom. He's hoping that people are going to be all up in arms over all his interviews. They're not going to actually read it. But guess what, Chris Proudfoot? I fucking read it. And there's not a damn thing that you just said. If I have to read this whole thing, I will. But there's nothing, not one mention of that video. As a matter of fact, the latest awesome. update was on the 3rd. And it looks like Nick came out with that video March 14th. They had plenty of time to put out a statement. Like he said they did. Nick put this out a month ago.
Yeah. Go to the official site. It's not here, Chris. It ain't here. Exactly, Michelle. Jay, we need to keep in mind that anything that comes out of Chris's mouth is the opposite of what the truth is. Why didn't they have cameras when she's in, in technology? None of it makes sense. L.E. hasn't said shit about this video. So, Bethany, no. L.E., like I just said, they haven't mentioned the video. If anybody wants to get with me on any of this, um, please email me. Don't hesitate. The lights are the floodlights. Katie said they were not on all night. They caught him stealing food on camera, but yet she doesn't have any cameras. Where did she say she caught him on camera? Bethany W. No, owner of video has confirmed it's from 430. So now we have 430. I don't know. I'll check out your emails fuller, but I'm not going to stop my live because of it. I mean, I appreciate you sending me what you're sending me, but I mean, I know what I'm seeing and I'm, I'm seeing that Chris Proudfoot's a fucking liar. And he's telling me that they put out a statement saying that that means nothing. And guess what? There's nothing that says that. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't Many neighbors and businesses have provided video from home and business surveillance. What businesses? What businesses? As far as I knew, he was last seen in the Stafford court area. That's what his TBI poster says. We are grateful for that cooperation. The video has been collected and from the beginning of the investigation has been analyzed and enhanced where possible by tech experts with the TBI, FBI, and Secret Service. Do you guys still think I'm full of shit here? The secret freaking service? What do you think all the fucking satellites above us do? <laughs> what do you think they do? Ah! It's scary. They don't want us to know their fucking tactics. <laughs> to date, nothing gathered from these video systems has been determined to be significant. We do caution that some surveillance video being shared in the public may have been misinterpreted or misidentified or not shown in its entirety. It has been determined that this does not hold any evidentiary significance to the investigation. Numerous search warrants have been executed. Cell phone data has been analyzed and any other available digital evidence has been collected, searched and documented. Information was collected from Sebastian's gaming system and has been analyzed. I thought his gaming system didn't go online. Yeah, the Secret Service. Ah! With help from the FBI, vehicles that were placed in the area at or around the time of Sebastian's disappearance have been accounted for. These videos and all the electronic evidence that has already been reviewed is often being reinvestigated. Is often being reinvestigated.
What's going on now in the investigation? What's next? The search for Sebastian has not stopped. Everyday tips and leads are investigated. People are being interviewed and re-interviewed. Evidence that has been reviewed once already is being gone over again. We continue to ask residents in the area of the search to keep an eye on your property to see if anything may have been moved or displaced. Hmm. Like things like hats thrown in water that's already been searched. Terry, I hear you. And Terry, I know the other Terry sent me a cash app. Thank you so much, hon. I appreciate you. If I missed your donation, I I apologize. They're not in there because of the Navy. They're in there because they're investigating a missing child. Um, if you have property that has ledges or holes that a teenager might find interesting and you can't search it yourself, we can have someone check it out for you. This I thought was an interesting statement as well. If you know Sebastian and have information about him, what he likes, how he acts, that you think could be relevant, let us know. And that's it. It doesn't say, oh, the video you saw is a garbage truck and da 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 Most games are played online. Right, but they said he didn't go online. So what data are they getting from his Switch if he doesn't go online? See, another lie, I think. Another lie. Was he lured away? Is it possible? Now I'm going over and over this, and it's like, what in the hell? Are they lying and saying he didn't have online access because he was lured away? I mean, this is a national Amber Alert. A national Amber Alert. I don't know why you guys are complaining about the Sheriff's Department. A national Amber Alert is bigger than any Sheriff's Department can ever be. That's a nationwide alert. Sweet Faux Bakery, Mr. Proudfoot, I believe, knows the video was a re an aerial shot. I think so, too. He ain't fooling nobody. Hey, Jay, do you do a voiceover for Wayfair? No, I wish I fuck I did. <laughs> They're seeing when he last played on his devices. That makes sense. That makes sense. B West, YouTube has been acting really crazy lately. Yeah, he's it's a nationwide Amber Alert. Let's not get down on the sheriff, y'all. The sheriff, the law enforcement is not the enemy here. They are not the enemy here. Do you want to know who the enemy is here? It's the people that are lying. And I don't mean Seth. I mean Chris and Katie Proudfoot. They're lying. He's lying. He thinks he thinks that we're stupid. This guy thinks he's more intelligent than us. They're Chris headlights, 310 a.m. Katie carries Sebastian out to light to, then runs back to the sunroom. Somebody does run. Wayfair, you have just what I need. Secret Service and CIA are not the same. No, they are not. Yeah, I mean, law enforcement is not the enemy here. I mean, how can you say they're the enemy when in a matter of days they search 2,000 miles? Bridget Blaine has a suggestion. If you let the ad play out fully and then wait a second before you press skip, 
It'll keep you in the current chat. So it must be something. Oh, headphones. You always flatter me. It is easy to have doubt after Summer Wells, but that's one case out of many, y'all. I, I just think that the this is a totally different circumstance than Summer Wells. Completely different dynamics, completely different situation. Bethany, that is a car or truck behind the house with the interior lights on. I did see the new the new video and I'm currently working on something. That's what made me find this. Thank you, sweet. Oh, yeah, let's talk about him being bit, too. I mean, I mean, these law enforcement officers, they want to find this this kid as bad as we want him found. This guy right here. I mean, what the fuck? You're telling me Yorkies did that? Why are you sitting around playing with Yorkies while your your stepson is missing? That's not from Yorkies. I raised Yorkies. I bred Yorkies. Yorkies don't fuck you up like that. Maybe a cat. Maybe a cat. Yorkies? Nah. That ain't from no damn Yorkie. Chris Proudfoot. Huh. Y'all. That's just, I mean, that is some messed up ish right there. See that? What the hell, Chris Proudfoot? That is a direct screenshot from his interview with the news. That's a mess. Ooh, Carly, I'll check that out. We will follow up on this one for sure. And you know what? He doesn't seem to me to be the kind of guy that's going to play with Yorkies. And I'm going to show you why. Oh, I can't stand this man. I can't stand this man. Okay, let me show you while we sit here with his fucked up arms. Uh, let's see. What did I want to pull up? Here it is. Okay, hold on. I'm going to play this video. This is something I'm working on, so it's like a work in progress. But you guys will get the gist of what, what I'm coming at with this next video. Hold on and let me share it. Thanks for being here, you guys. If you could hit that like button, it's such a free way to help out, and it really does help. No joke. Like, it really helps. Um, quick time. Here we go. Sebastian Rogers, ridiculous parents. Let's put Chris Proudfoot's arms up here. And All right, here we go. So this is a bunch of clips, but I'm going to show you something that I'm I'm talking about here. Make that a little bit smaller. Poor Sebastian. You know, he deserved so much better, you guys. He deserved so much better than all this bullshit and lies and deception and everything that these people are putting out into the universe as far as this kid goes and his behaviors and his his past and everything he's been through. His his step parent Chris Proudfoot and Katie Proudfoot didn't say one positive thing about him. Not one positive thing. But this is what I'm working on for you guys. This is coming up soon. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a cap. He, he has basically vanished. Where is? Walked out of the house. The door was locked and gone. Sebastian Rogers. He didn't take a phone. None of his shoes are missing. I don't know where he's at. Oh, shit. 
So to make something very crystal clear. So that okay. way there's transparency across the... Y'all couldn't even see it. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. He, he has basically vanished. Where is... Walked out of the house, the door was locked, and gone. Sebastian Rogers. He didn't take the phone. None of his shoes are missing. I don't know where he's at. So to make something very crystal clear, so that okay. way there's transparency across the, across the board. Have worked very fully and cooperatively with all agencies across the board. There's so many agencies involved in this investigation. I agree. And I mean, <laughs> Smiley, across the board. And, you. And you think of an alphabet, it's probably involved, unfortunately. I mean, he's a good kid. He's not, he's not a mischievous child by any means. We've been combing over that day and... That he, was the most positive thing he said about Sebastian was he's he's not a mischievous kid. But I put these guys side by side really super close so you could see the stark difference in their behaviors. It's so weird. It, it made me wonder, like, is Katie holding out on Chris? Is she holding in a secret? I... I I don't know, man. In the weeks before he left, and I don't, I haven't been able to figure it out. More hot air from the Proudfoots. In this video, we're going to go over some of the most ridiculous statements that Chris and Katie Proudfoot have made to date. Me and the mom were on the phone at 9.43 or 9.46 in the evening. I had called my... Okay, first of all, <laughs> what does that mean? 9.43 or 9.46 in the evening? The fuck is he talking about? Who says that? He's already giving too much information. Me and the mom were on the phone at 9.43 or 9.46 in the evening. I had called my... I had looked through the house for him it was typical for him to get up and come and rummage for snacks and things like that and he likes to dip behind the you know walls and watch you know and um and then he comes out after i come back and he likes to scare me <laughs> but um primary areas are like social and emotional dysregulation issues and things like that um, he kind of has issues with personal space he hasn't mastered he can be a, a, <laughs> up in your face kind of kid. He's <laughs> he can be aggressive if he's upset. Yeah, <laughs> that is you. You are nowhere far from the truth on that because that is so correct. Um, Sebastian is extremely high functioning. He's his weakness. He does not have a sense of personal space. He has a hard time. Uh, he's awkwardly socially like blending in with students. So it's a little, he's trying to figure out how to do it. He hasn't mastered. He can be a, <laughs> up in your face kind of kid. He's, <laughs> he can be aggressive if he's upset. Yeah. But respecting people's space, he gets a little too close. Um, and then kids don't really accept that too much. So it kind of causes an issue. Okay. So here, this part bothered me because I feel like, oh, that causes an issue with students. Thank you, Shell. Oh, we're at 99, 938, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Um, la, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a count. Right. They would have been on the phone during the thud. You're so right. 936. No, 943 or 946. Seth said that L.E. stopped telling him anything. We could possibly hit 100K tonight. We're at 99,940. 99, 
Holy smokes. Y'all are awesome. Um, but he'll not stop and he continues on. Yeah, I don't think it was the students that he was not stopping and continuing on with. I think it was in the home. I think he got on Chris Proudfoot's nerves. But I'm wondering now if Chris Proudfoot really didn't do anything, if Mona Lisa over here with no fucking facial expression did. Continues on. So then it causes an issue. And instead of being honest about it, he'll, he'll lie. Like, no, I didn't. Okay, Sebastian. He'll lie. Like, no, I didn't. Okay, Sebastian. Did you see how he made fun of him and then smiled? No, I didn't. Okay, Sebastian. What I can tell you is with all law enforcement, with everybody that's involved, there's nothing that's been eliminated. Everything is on the table. Everything is being looked at from every possible aspect. Um, we're 99950 now. Oh my God, we're 50 away. Everything from he got out and walked away and was outside of the search radius before we started searching. To okay, I think that tells you a lot. He was already outside la, 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 of the la, radius. La, la. You don't hold a Who just gifted memberships? Amber, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Thank you so much, Amber. Y'all, we are less than 50 away from 100,000 subscribers. Out of the search radius before we started searching to the worst. Yeah. And, and that's currently where we're at. I mean, it's... Yeah, really trying not to go down that road because... Well, We're going to find him. Speculating causes problems. Assumptions cause... Okay, this is what was important, too. She says, I don't want to go down that road. I don't want to go down that road. And then he says, speculation causes problems. Speculating causes problems. Assumptions cause issues. And based on facts of what everybody knows, right now, there's nothing and everything is still on the table to be looked at. We just know he's out there somewhere. What would you like our viewers to know about your son? Uh, Sebastian, he is high functioning autistic. Um, he loves animals. He loves video games. He loves fishing. Green tea. You're so goofy. How cute Sebastian is. Or is it a cigar? And is that Katie? Is that Katie saying you're goofy or is that somebody else? He loves fishing. Green tea. You're so goofy. <laughs> He's typically a very, very sweet boy. Um, he can't. Why would you say typically? This is your son that you don't know You're where awesome. he is. He's been missing for almost two months. She looks better than she did before. Oh, B. West, that was so funny. Listen, you guys, I hate to derail and, and say this right now, but since we're so freaking close, this is huge. We're at 99978, okay? But listen, this is the thing. This is the thing. I know, we're, I'm going to get a counter up. I'm freaking out. Um... BD, you guys are, so, oh my gosh, I am, thank you so much, one shot. La, 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 I know he la, does la, seem so smart, his teachers loved him. Don't listen to what these Proudfoots say, because they're lying. They're both lying. They're trying to make him sound like he's it, incapable of anything. It's sick. All right, we're going to get a counter up, guys, because this is this is only going to happen once here at J is for Justice, I hope. Oh, 
Let's see. Hold on. 99985. OMG. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, this is. La, 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 la. This is fucking amazing. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, every single person that has subscribed. This is so fucking cool. You're awesome. All right, let's see. Can I get. Can I get a count? Oh, shit. Can I get a counter? Where is it? There it is. Current subscribers. I think what I have to do, though, is wait. Hold on. I'm going to hit it before I figure out how the fuck to do this. <laughs> you guys. This is so wild. Oh, we did it. We fucking did it. We fucking did it, guys. Look, I'm getting, I, I got fireworks. And you guys didn't see them. I'm not going to be like Ruby Frankie and cry, though. <gasps> Woo! We did it, guys! Oh, my God. Thank you so, so much. <gasps> we did it! Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. <gasps> Hotspot, thank you for becoming la, la, a member. La, 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 la. You don't hold a count. Wow. Thank you so, so much. <gasps> we did it. We, You You're guys awesome. came in hot tonight. We thought it was going to happen like in the next week. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, my la, God. La, you just la, made my la, night. La, la. You don't hold a count. I love you too, Shell. Thank you. Oh man, now we gotta celebrate. Now I have to I have to celebrate with y'all. Oh, Thank you. Wow, I'm so glad you guys were all here. You guys did it tonight. Look at that. Look! Holy shit. I just want to say thank you to everybody, all the members, everybody that's here listening. La, 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 you guys are la, amazing. La. Wow. So listen, what I want to do, and this is what I was just getting ready to tell you guys, on the hotline, I want you guys to leave me a voicemail and tell me how you found my channel. Thank you, True Crime Web. You are so amazing, too. You're wow. Awesome. Pop that cork. Jay, open your box. Oh, I have a gift. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a count. Listen to this, guys. I have a gift waiting for this celebration. This is so exciting. Thank you, Casey. La, You've been la, a member la, for a la, year, la, Case. La. You don't hold a this says, do not open till 100K. Love from la, Trixie. La, la, this is cousin la, la. Trixie. Shell, Potato, and Candy. Makita, thank you. Oh, my you God. Potato go. is potato here. Where is Potato? Is Northern Beans, thank you. Can you guys call my hotline and tell me how you found me and when you started watching? So because ghost? I want to do a video and play y'all's y'all's um, voice recordings. <laughs> Danny Tribbly coming in strong. LOL, his wife just subbed up to you to push you over. Thank you. Blue love, thank you. La, 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 okay. la, and you guys you got to see... <laughs> Headphones. Oh, man. Only took five la, years, la, right? La, okay. la, la. You don't hold a count. Who's arrogant? It's not very nice. Oh, maybe she's talking about Proudfoot. She might be talking about Proudfoot. Well... I can't read. It's cigar? going so fast. Where is Potato? Molly, thank you. All right, I'm opening the box. I think Potato's sleeping, you guys. It's so late. Or is it a cigar? Thank you, Poon. Jammers. <laughs> guys, we're at 1,045. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a count. You guys are awesome. So is that a joint? 
Jenny W. Or is it a cigar? All right, this is the gift, guys. Oh, I can't. I'm crying. <laughs> okay, this is from Potato, Potato, Trixie, Shell, and Kendi. Thank la, you, Myron. La, la. You don't hold a cow. Thank you, Kelly. She's going to be so mad that she missed it. Oh, man. I don't know if I can handle this right now. I've been super emotional, too. Bonafide, thank you. This is so cool. You guys, it says J is for justice, 100K, 2018 to 2024. Look how cool. So is that a joint? Or is it a cigar? That is so nice. There's, but wait, there's more. Anna, hello. Thank you. I know. I'm making you laugh. Oh my God, there's more. <gasps> so is that a joint? Okay. Or is it a cigar? Oh, let me get her. Get Katie's face off the screen for fuck's sake. For real. All right, let me make this bigger. Okay. Is Smiley here? Thank you, Smiley. Smiley, I love you. Oh my God, they put, they took my thumbnails from all my old videos and emojis and all fuzzy slippers and fucking lip gloss, y'all. I'm going to have to take pictures of this because this is amazing. Look at the banana. There's fuzzy slippers and lip gloss. Scott H., if you're there. Meg, thank you so much, Mega. Megaphone. All my thumbnails and shit, and it says 100K 2024. Y'all are... Look at the fucking YouTube thing. That's so awesome. Wow. Wow. There's one more thing in this box. Vanished, thank you for being here. Guys, we got something for the studio. It says October 2018 to April of 2024. You guys were really hoping. Thank you so much, Flo. You guys were really, oh really uh, bacon because they put April. Look at that. That is going to go behind me, guys. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. Smiley, thank you for all you do. You are an amazing person. Tear Bear, thank you. You've been following since the Watts case, Daisy Doodle? Doodle? Wow, this is a... Candy! What do you mean? We hit 100K, Candy. Danny is... Danny, is Danny who I'm thinking of, Richard? Woo. Thank you so much for the nice gifts. That was... Thanks, Stacy. That was amazing. Holy cow. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. This is a big deal. I was your first sub, BD. Still got the headphones. BDAC got me my awesome headphones. My lucky headphones. Myron, thank you so much. We're going to get your account squared away. I think I know the problem. We'll talk. We'll talk. Jenny W., thank you so much. Wow. 
Florida baby. Thank you so much. I feel like like, that's all I'm saying. Terror Bear, it was crazy. Meme of six. Okay, so here's the hotline, guys. Hotline. Makita, I know I'm like, whoa. Oh, you guys are great. Thank you for the nice compliments. It's really nice, man. It's been it's been a crazy ride. La 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 la. It's been a crazy ride, but look at us. We're at a hundred thousand and fifty-seven motherfuckers. So please call the hotline. La, it goes la, right la, to voicemail la, la. You don't hold and tell me how you found me. And then when I do my live stream, I'm going to um, play those. I want to know. Tell me your YouTube name and how you found me. And 911, give it to God. Thank you so much. Allison, thank you. This was so unexpected. Thank you. Holy wow. All right, let's end. We have, and, and I'm going to go, I'm doing a live where I'm going to go to the Chinese dollar store here by me. They sell machetes and shit, like over the counter. They're not locked up. It's fucking weird. So it's going to be a pretty fun live. I've been promising. Thank you so much, Casey. You deserve every single sub, she says. What a long, strange trip it's been for real. And I'm going to do a Q&A for everybody. And we're going to, you know, you can ask me anything. We can talk onward and upwards towards 150K. Talk about what we're going to do. Thank you, Shell. Jeff Kent, I'm so glad you're here too. Rift. Kaylee. Melissa B. Thank you, sweetheart. You guys are what makes this, man. You're awesome. Poon's here. Poon's here. I wasn't doing a countdown until it happened. La, 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 okay. la, no way, True Crime Web. That can't be correct. That can't be right, is it? You're on your way there too, buddy. You do good work. La, la, SWD, la, 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 thank you so much. You this is five years. Heavenly, we did it. We did it. We did it. M. Nice. Should I move to Florida? I don't know. Ask the eight ball. Daily Tab, thank you for becoming a member. If you become a member, please join our Discord. Y'all, we got we to gotta talk in Discord tonight. I'm so glad you guys were all here. <sighs> Thanks, Richard. Wow. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. You guys are awesome. I know someone even said la, la, someone la, even la, said la, tonight you you're not there yet? That is crazy true crime web. Mr. Steve, you're awesome. That is nuts. He said that only 0.5% of people actually get to 100K. That blew my mind. But then again, there's billions of YouTube channels. Oh my gosh, Miss K, that's horrible. But yeah, we're going to go to the Chinese dollar store. And we're going to walk around there. I'll show you the machetes and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll do the Q&A live. And I want to play um, your your voicemails. So please, please call the hotline. Say, hey, I just found you when you, you know, hit 100K because I was watching for Sebastian. You know, tell me. I want to know who you are and how you found my channel because you guys are all important. And it doesn't matter if there's 100,000 or 50,000 or 200,000. You guys, without you, this wouldn't be happening. So please let me know.
it makes me, it makes me, it fulfills me for what I do. Like to hear like, oh, I, you know, I watched this and I liked you or it's just, it's wonderful. So, but let me know your YouTube name and, um, how you found me. Fan fucking tastic. This, this, you guys, I, I don't even have any words. The moms were found. Wow. Penny, thanks. I love you too, Myron. So, um, you guys are great. I think he's sleeping, Kendi. I'm going to go shake him awake. We did it. We did it. We did it. Chick bait. I like your name. Virginia Beach watching that 100K. Where else? How, where's the furthest away from me? Where's the furthest away from me? It is very hard, but you guys, you have made it so worth it. And we're going to keep we're going to keep covering these cases and we're going to keep doing what we do. And mods I can't thank you enough. You guys are always here. I always can count on you. I know there's a few that aren't here right now just because of the time. It's 1044 at, at night. I'm usually sleeping by now, but, you know, I, I, I'm I just, I'm forever grateful. Pensacola. This is really exciting. Manitoba, Canada. That's pretty far. New York, New York, Alberta. Thank you, Terry Lynn. Terry Lynn, thank you for, Terry, did somebody, Allison, thank you for becoming a Patreon. Wow, that's weird seeing 100,000. Yes, the Carlton Reserve. Western Mass, Illinois, Osaka, Japan, Blue Love, I see that, I see that, I'm glad you found me, M11, West Michigan, found you through the Watts in Tacoma, Washington, Memphis, Tennessee, Indiana, a bush watcher from Kentucky, Tennessee, thank you for being here, Broken Cran. Missouri, Chicago. People wouldn't be here if you weren't sincere, presented while you work hard to cover cases. Thank you, Bridget. That means so much. Kaylee is my Florida neighbor, South Florida. Meg P's in a black hole somewhere. Loco, thanks. Wisconsin, Texas in the house. La, 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 okay. la, la, Sedona, la, Arizona. La. Thank you for subscribing. Tammy West, Washington State, Ohio, South Texas. All over the place. Molly, go have your thank you so much. Amsterdam, I was waiting for it. Simone. Simone, I was waiting for something far away. Australia, you don't get much further than that either. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Stand up. Daily Tab just gifted a membership all in tanks. Received it. Ryan Apple Staple. Dude, we made it to 100K. Or is it a cigar? Oh, shit. Terry Lynn found you on here during the Gillespie Watts. <gasps> that was a disaster. Gillespie Watts. But we'll do a Q&A. Y'all can ask me about anything. I'm an open book on here. I don't I don't hide shit. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a count. I'm hanging with you at 3.45 a.m. I'm, I'm East Anglia. Where's that? I saw that scrap owl. May they rest in peace. Scotland in the house. Heck yeah. Thank you, Heavenly. Ohana is in here from Albania. We got Australia. Janine says thank you for her gift. Yes, Terry Lynn, we do. Let's talk about it. We'll talk about it and ask me. We'll do the Q&A. 
I'll tell you all about it. Honey bun, thank you. Tacoma, Washington. Thank you, Tree Tree. Lisa Rose, we did it tonight. It just all of a sudden happened. Missouri. That's why we're going to go to the Carlton Reserve, Casey. You don't hold a count. Oh, East Anglia, England. So she's here. She's here for as like for potato. You do know him? Is that a good or a bad thing, Terry? I'll tell you what I know from my side. I I don't know what happened on his end. I'd be curious to know if that is their name. Wendy is still with him. That was a disaster. We need celebration brownies with M and M's. Vermont. Yes, you should come up on panel one night, Terry. We should talk. I wish someone could do a live search of the home now to look for aerial view of garage lights. Oh. Somebody said, but back to Sebastian. Thank you, Low 12. Back to Sebastian. Um, Somebody said that you can get Google Earth Pro and you can actually go back in time. Thank you, Michelle. Check that out. That you can go back up in time and you can view certain times. Thank you, Megan. Megan. Meg P. Megan. I, uh, so thank you, Mega. Ten memberships. Or is it a cigar? Wow. Welcome, all of you guys. Utilize your memberships. Join us. So is that a joint? Thank you so much. So this week we're going to be doing daybell updates in the evenings. We're not streaming that shiz because you can't hear it. So make sure you you join us. So is that a joint? You guys are great. Wow. Meg. Megaphone. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Just like the fajita. So is that a joint? Or is it a cigar? Steve H., welcome. Hey, dude. So April 14th was our day. Google Earth PC. I don't have that. Or is it a cigar? Seek the Missing. Hey. I think I'm going to have to check out Google Earth Pro and see. So is that a joint? Can you pick an exact date, Richard? You're welcome, Heidi. Thank you, Mega. Kina, thank you. Or is it a cigar? Daphne, we were, and then I hit 100,000 subscribers. So we kind of got derailed. So is that a joint? Unbelievable. We had no idea this would happen. So it was kind of unexpected. But thank you guys so much. We're almost at 100 and uh, another 100. So is that a joint? Thanks for all your generosity. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hitting the like button and thank you for listening. I appreciate you. You can, Richard. Hmm. Interesting. So is that a joint? Okay, let's get back to the case because we were watching this video. I'm I'm ecstatic. Don't think that I'm not. But we are here for Sebastian. I'll keep the counter going because it is it's absolutely fucking amazing. But we are here for Sebastian tonight. And I wanted to show you this is what I've got in the works. Sorry to put her face back up. Samantha, welcome. So is that a joint? I'm so I'm so happy. Or is it a cigar? The flea foots. In these, in these, the mugs. I got a 100K mug and a tumbler. That is awesome. Trixie makes these. Cousin Trixie. I know she's not here a lot. She's busy. She's got a lot going on. But I love you guys. Thank you. And you'll see the clock going up behind me soon. Okay. I know it was, it was a lot. That was really intense. That was fun. I hope you guys... Enjoy that crafting crime. Thank you. 
Jammers, thank you for keeping Sebastian in the chat. Thank you for, for keeping Sebastian in, in the in the chat. Yeah, Mona Lisa is talking. Let's get back to our video. Whew, thank you. Thank you so much. be quite temperamental though if he's overstimulated or if he's stressed out when it comes to the cameras there has not been one person that has said no and trust me it is greatly felt that everybody has been so open so helpful in pushing out any which way they can i mean there's been some families that have actually been on vacation that weren't home and they got information they've got permission from that family to take a look at their cameras and go in their houses without them even being present uh, which has been amazing so okay so this is where i would want to in insert the clip where he talks about um the neighbors you know he says how kind they are and everything and how they've let, you know, law enforcement go in their houses when they're not home and do all these things. And they've given up their camera footage, you know, early on and they've been so helpful. But then when he's asked about this vigil, he was like, there's no parking here. Nobody wants to deal with that. The neighbors were getting mad. He makes them sound like they're a bunch of assholes. Another lie. Another lie. Us, but we've been out spreading those as far as we can. Okay, so this is the point where Olivia asks them about the yard signs. And there's a yard sign behind them. And these two, I've got them side by side. She turns around. She can't keep her eyes off of Sebastian. This I found interesting, and I don't know what it means, if anything. But she can't take her eyes off it. He turns and looks at her and sees that she's looking back and staring at it. And he's in a, to it's like they're in two different worlds. Like you would almost think they're in two different rooms doing two different interviews. They, their behavior is so opposite. Even over state lines, um, trying to get. And then she mentions taking the, the signs over state lines. Over state lines. Isn't that an odd thing to say when they haven't left the fucking house? We can, even over state lines, um, trying to get awareness because, you know, not everybody knows that he's not missing not and there's a chance that if someone can see him and not even realize who he is. So we want to get his face out there because we want him home. Surprisingly, even locally, there are some folks that... And then he interjects with this bullshit. Surprising locally. Look at his face. What are we watching? We're watching Mona Lisa and caught with his hand in the cookie jar. I mean, that's what I see. Is that what y'all see? I don't even know what's going on. And it, it's kind of like a shocker. Like, how do you not know? You know, it, it's, it is amazing because stories. I pretty much don't even go online anymore at this point. I, on the other hand, I do go on. And I do talk to these folks. And I want them to understand. So they're talking about social media. And Katie says, I don't even go online anymore. Okay, now watch her compared to him. Like, I swear to God, this, this woman has no emotion. I, on the other hand, I do go on. And I do talk to these folks. And I want them to understand they have this formulated opinion on who we are, not who we truly are. They've never met us. We've never been, we've never crossed paths with some of these folks. Bye, Daily. But I have told them all online. If you want to know, just ask me. I'll answer your questions. 
to the best of what I can. There are some things that I cannot give you because law enforcement has you know dictated why? that we are not to provide certain information. Because you're a liar. But I will try. Law enforcement has dictated that they don't provide any information. La, la, la. Law la, la, enforcement has dictated that I don't provide any information. She doesn't even flinch. Law enforcement has dictated that we are not to provide certain information, but I will try. I am direct, I am brash, but I am very respectful. In other words, you're I'm a, a black and white kind of guy. I, so. <laughs> so. I should not have taken a drink at that moment. I should have known better. This poor reporter. Listen to this dickhead. T. Harrison, I am too. Oh, Terry Lynn, I would love to know more about it. Like, to just talk to you about it. We should plan a live, Terry. Not to provide certain information. But I will try. Listen to this next part. He's such I'm an ass. Direct. I am brash, but I am very respectful. I'm a black and white kind of guy. That and that, my and that, sir, is the definition of an asshole. I, so. <laughs> so. With the fact that my son is still not home. You know, we have a bedroom that's empty. That is never normally ever empty, except for when he's with his dad. Every other weekend. Why so now, do we need to know that he's with his dad every other weekend? See how weird this is? We have a bedroom that's empty. That's hardly ever empty. Unless he's with his dad every other weekend. Why all of the information? No one asked. No one asked. Only ever empty, except for when he's with his dad every other weekend. So now we have a child that's missing. So there's no words to, to describe it, but I can just tell you, it's like you get up and now you don't know what to do. Okay, like, like, like Sebastian being gone really has a major effect on his life. I mean, let's think about this in reality. What effect did you think he got him up and did all the caregiving? Oh, you wonder, you get up and you wonder what, what you do. You know what you do when your kid's missing? When you wake up, you go fucking look for him. That's what you do. Chris Proudfoot. Yeah, that loud and beefy. So there's no words to, to describe it, but I can just tell you, it's like you get up and now you don't know what to do. He's emotional. He's a teenager. He's got. He doesn't like punch and hit and throw, but he no. gets really like aggressive stanced or like clipped where he just won't clipped? talk to you or, um, you know, if he's really upset, he like growls. Yeah, he. La 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 la. What was you that all about, Chris? He growls and then he laughs. Rolls his eyes and says, oh, man. What the hell was that? Let's watch that with no audio. And let's slow it down and watch this man's body language and his, re his facial, whatever you call it, reaction. She's about to say he growls. Mm. 
Let's wait for it. That is weird. Is that not weird? I mean, what's so funny? What is so damn funny? If the kid is growling because he's upset, why is that funny? This guy is a professional liar. Thank you, Leo. Watch him again. Looking up to Sebastian. Mm hmm. She's not laughing about it, though. She gets, it looks like she gets a little uncomfortable because she shifts in her seat. I feel like him laughing about it makes, oh, there's a mosquito in here, makes her uncomfortable. I mean, I'm not taken up for Katie Proudfoot, but it almost looks like she's being serious and he's not. Like, they're not on the same page here. It's not meshing. I mean, you, you would think that the two of them are in, like, two different rooms. Nothing about this makes sense right here. Yes, Alan Coker. Yep. You guys are going to be blown away. There's a lot more. And we're going to we're going to go deeper into this. This is just something that it's in the works right now. This is like a rough draft. I mean, he smiled so much that his ass showed teeth. What a pig. How you could even form a smile like that at this moment in time is beyond me truly has himself convinced of his own bullshit. Oh, man. Oh, man. So this community, I'm going to tell you right now, far and wide, multiple communities, uh, counties, various people, some people in other states, uh, reach out either through social media, uh, in person, but everybody... People... Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck is he talking about? People... From other states, reach out on social media and in person. What? Like this dude and her have made themselves readily available and organized search efforts. They've been so easy to find that people from other states are just approaching them in person. How can we help? Because you're a liar. Through social media, uh, in person, but everybody is searching. They've looked. Uh, they're constantly looking. They're constantly. It sounds like he's irritated. Everybody's searched. They've looked. They're constantly searching. Like, why would you say that? Why would you say they're constantly searching? You'd be like, oh, my God, they're they're amazing. They haven't stopped. Not, you're constantly searching. Like, I wish they'd just leave us the fuck alone. They've looked. Uh, they're constantly looking. They're constantly giving us ideas hey check this what about this all of that is great um report anything that could potentially even if it's little 
it doesn't matter what it is. However, what we can ask is that instead of people... And uh, I ran through the house, and um, at that point I was hysterical, for lack of word. Thank and, you, uh, Kendo. We called. We, we three-wayed the... Uh, wow, Kendo just tipped 50 bucks through j for j 411live Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kendo, for your support, for your help, everything. Could potentially, even if it's little. It doesn't matter what it is. However, what we can ask is that instead of people... And uh, I ran through the house, and um, at that point I was hysterical for lack of words okay here's okay here's an example of the morkies that don't bark by the way i know they had news people in the house oh they didn't recognize them ah oh, yorkies and morkies bark they're barkers it's what they do um thank you for becoming a patreon we have a new patreon member and that is boom Allison, Allison. Positive thinker, thank, positive thinker, Helen. Thank you, honey. This is your first super chat. Thank you. I appreciate you. I think that's why they say, Jamie, that they are re-freaking searching. They're going over old search <coughs> search sites. Okay, so back to the pups. Back to the pups. I think her. I think her hands are puffy because she's a drinker. I think that her hands are puffy because she's a drinker. And I think she gets puffy. That happens with drinkers. Okay. So in this one, remember this we were just talking about? See Chris's arms that are all jacked up? He says that's from Yorkies, right? Because he was playing with them. When he finally got home, after Sebastian went missing, when he finally got home seven, eight, nine hours later, he played with the Yorkies. And they did this to his arms, according to Chris Proudfoot. Well, let's hear how Chris Proudfoot is with the Yorks in this video through the house and um 100 100 hysterical for lack of word and uh we called we, we three-wayed the um the police and um i'm within minutes they were here i couldn't tell you exactly how long i know it was fast when i got the phone call that he was missing um like she said we Ask questions like, where is he at? Check this, check that. And then we called the sheriff's department. I called the sheriff's department. I stayed on the phone pretty much most of the time. Um, initially, I was like, oh, he's he's goofing around again. Here we go. He's like hiding. And then when we talked about the places to check and he's not there, I was like, okay, stop. Instantly. Call the police. Instantly. I'm a black and white kind of guy. I, so. That girl. Uh, she's like, okay. We checked for all of his shoes and none of them are missing. Um, the door was locked. Long sleeve black shirt with a print on the front. I'm pretty sure it was one of his. Um, uh, like Star like, Wars or Halloween or. Um, or even Minecraft. Yeah. Those yeah. are the three main things. That's the three things that he's, majority is on his clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy has his flavors. <laughs> Boy has his flavors? 
I'm sorry. I don't understand what that means. Does anybody know what that means? Boy has his flavors. Is that, am I missing something? It just seems like an odd, out of place thing to say a little bit. He's not a runner. Um, this is this is not normal for him to run away. Um, if I mean, I just he's no, he's not a runner. We are doing what we've been asked to do by the law enforcement agencies and everybody involved. I am not going to divulge anything more than that. Yeah. Everybody has an opinion and their assumptions, and they are entitled to those. But as I've stated before, all we've asked people to do is to look at the facts. But the assumptions are just that. They are an assumption, your opinions. We pray for everybody for hopefully this never happens to you. What is he talking about? He's, he's, He's not, he's praying for everybody? Hopefully this never happens to you. And if it ever does, then you'll understand. But I pray it doesn't. And they're doing their job. They're looking everywhere they can for, my, for I mean. Okay, why can't she say Sebastian? Did you catch that? Everywhere they can for, my, for I mean. What? They're looking everywhere they can. All we've asked people to do is to look at the facts, but the assumptions are just that. They are an assumption, your opinions. We pray for everybody for hopefully this never happens to you. And if it ever does, then you'll understand, but I pray it doesn't. And they're doing their job. They're looking everywhere they can for, my, for I mean... Their goal is the same. We just want to find him. You're not in trouble. That door's unlocked and waiting for you to come home. So You're not in trouble. That door's unlocked and waiting for you to come home. What door? The code door? This guy believes his own bullshit. And that's what's going to fuck him up. And that's what is fuck him, fucking him up. Here, I'll play that part again. I am not going to divulge anything more than that. Yeah. Everybody has an opinion and their assumptions, and they are entitled to those. But as I've stated before, all we've asked people to do is to look at the facts. But the assumptions are just that. They are an assumption, your opinions. We pray for everybody for hopefully this never happens to you and if it ever does then you'll understand but i pray it doesn't and they're doing their job they're looking everywhere they can for my for i mean how we lost one it's 100 100 again their goal is the same we just want to find him you're not in trouble that door's unlocked and waiting for you to come home so law enforcement is exploring any and all possibilities. Okay, this is exactly what the Sumner County guy said. You know, the cute sheriff guy that looks kind of like Adam Levine in a way. He said these exact words. This is like, it's like she watched the presser and took this exactly from him. You're not in trouble. That door's unlocked and waiting for you to come home. So law enforcement is exploring any and all possibilities. Um, they're communicating daily with us about updates and the statuses. Daily? We, we have faith that all the law enforcement agencies involved are doing everything that they can. Um, and we're going to find Sebastian and bring him home. He has a unique run. He runs like the... Okay. This bothered me as well. <sighs> Now, maybe it's cool in their world to run like a Naruto character. But in my world, when you're 15, you don't want to be told you run like a fucking Naruto character. 
Am I right or am I wrong? Listen to this bullshit coming out of her mouth. He has a unique run. He runs like the the Naruto anime character. Uh, when he's when he's excited, he likes to to dab and he loves music. He loves to dance. That's all very helpful information. No, it isn't. See, he's lying to her. It's not helpful information at all, Katie Proudfoot. It's totally useless information. He likes to dab. Okay, look for a kid that's dabbing. I mean, what in the pure hell are these people doing? Thank you, Alip. I love you. It's a unique run. He runs like the, the Naruto anime character. Uh, when, he's, when he's excited, he likes to, to dab and he loves music. He loves to dance. That's all very She likes the twirl. Now, if Sebastian is out there watching, what would you like to say to your son? I would say, Bubba, we love you. We all love you so much. Um, wherever you are. Just okay, now I know that she claimed in the other video she's looking at a picture of Sebastian. Whatever. Whatever. You can't do an interview la, without la, looking la, over. La, la, Come on. Know. I'm not buying it. Wherever you are, just know that we are not going to stop. We're going to keep searching. We're going to find you. We're going to bring you home. And if you, you ever get an opportunity, find a phone, find a safe adult, call 911. Um, but I'd oh, also wait. like to... Call 911, even though we didn't. Even though we didn't. She said, we came home, we planted flowers on the side of the house. <clears throat> I would say, Bubba, come home. What about Sebastian? Say his name. Say his name, Katie. Why don't you want to say his la, name? La, la, la. You don't hold a count. You, you ever get an opportunity, find a phone, find a safe adult, call 911. Awesome. Um, but I'd also like to, to ask our community to please, please, Please keep searching your properties. Keep sharing his flyer. Um, if you know something or you see something. God, I wish they were showing her face during that part. Why weren't they showing her face during that part? Ugh. It's so frustrating. Hold on. Did we, was that all of it? No, because we didn't see all of this. Um. What is she doing? What is this bitch doing? But I'd also like to, to ask our community to please, please, please keep searching your properties. Keep sharing his flyer. Um. Come on, she's referring to a script. Watch this again. Please, please, please keep searching your properties. Keep sharing his flyer. Um, if you know something or you see something, please. She was not looking over at a photo. I ain't buying it. It was like she needed to know what to say next. What up, Scott Skulls? Watch it with no sound. Speaks, speaks, speaks a lot. Sometimes you don't even need to hear what they're saying. Dude, she looks better now than she did in the first interview we saw her in. She looks more refreshed. She doesn't look like a woman who's lost sleep. She doesn't look like a woman who's been out of the sun. I mean, what? Please, please, please. 
keep searching your properties, keep sharing his flyer. Um, if you know something or you see something, please say something. Call the law enforcement immediately. We're going to do everything we can to help find him. Thank you. Now, let's take a good look okay. at some... So let's skip past that. Here we go. Now we're into some Nancy Grace action. Uh, that was actually several years ago. Um, and it to was... To Mr. Proudfoot. One... Okay, this is about the hitting Sebastian with a belt. This is her Mona Lisa act in the RV. Okay, you guys ready for this? Uh, that was actually several years ago. Um, and it to was... Mr. Proudfoot. One... To Mr. Proudfoot. To Mr. Proudfoot. Mr. Proudfoot, what happened? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I thought you were asking me, Katie. Um, See how he repositions himself? Oh, boy, Chris Proudfoot. You think you're so smart. Mr. Proudfoot, to Mr. Proudfoot. Yes, Mr. Proudfoot, what happened? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I thought you were asking me, Katie. Um, Sebastian had gotten in trouble. He got caught, got caught lying. So I gave him a swat with a belt on his buttocks on the outside of his clothes. One swat. I have begged and begged and begged, and so has my wife. Seth, when he was at the house before, same thing. We all asked, why can't you come out and just say it? Y'all told us to our faces. Mm -hmm. You know? So he's saying this is why L.E. has not. The question was, why has L.E. not cleared you, Chris Proudfoot? I have begged and begged and begged. And so has my wife, Seth, when he was at the house before. Same thing. We all asked, why can't you come out and just say it? Y'all told us to our faces, mm -hmm. you know, it, and our yes, the fun spot size. Get because it's an ongoing investigation and protocol does not allow us to do that. Yeah. Okay. Another lie. Objection. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So he's expecting us to believe that if they were truly cleared, that L.E. wouldn't say the parents aren't involved. Hey, Guidance. protocol him and he throws Seth in there we have begged he well he says personally he has begged and begged and begged and begged and begged how many times does he say he begged I have begged and begged and begged and so has my wife Seth when he was at the house before same thing. We all asked, why can't you come out and just say it? Y'all told us to our faces. Mm -hmm. You know, Smiley's it, like, mm, yeah, sure and they have. Our, the response we get because it's an ongoing investigation and protocol does not allow us to do that. Mm -hmm. That is the answer we're given. Mm -hmm. So here's something that's very unique. Um, and I mean, we, we talk about it whenever they come and they talk to us or they call us on the phone. Okay. This is something that Chris Proudfoot says is very unique. They, this is a case that literally has got all of these agencies stumped. Quinn. <laughs> okay. And I, and, and I'm saying this very openly <laughs> as far as. You know, playing devil's advocate. Let's say one of us was. Oh, this is really, this is where he gets really deep. Let's go back. 
Okay, listen carefully. Stumped. He's okay. got he uh, it's got L E stumped. He says stumped. A flung. Mm-hmm. So here's something that's very unique. Um and I mean we we talk about it whenever they come and they talk to us or they call us on the phone. They, this is a case that literally has got all of these agencies stumped. Okay, and I and, and I'm saying this very openly as far as you know, playing devil's advocate. Let's say one of us was suspected of foul play. Something let's say something, right? Oh, right. let's say one of us is suspected of foul play. Hmm. Let's throw a hypothetical out there, Chris. There's no way that we would outdupe all these agencies. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is where it gets good, y'all. There's no way we would outdupe all these agencies. Listen. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> this, this guy's a fucking clown. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to that again, guys. Um, and I mean, we we talk about it whenever they come and they talk to us or they call us on the phone. They, this is a case that literally has got all of these agencies stumped. Okay. And I... And, and I'm saying this very openly as far as, you know, playing devil's advocate. Let's say one of us was suspected of foul play. Something, let's say something, right? Right. There's no way that we would outdupe all these agencies. There's no way. There's no way. However, this 15-year-old boy has managed to outdo everybody. Call him Houdini. He always wanted to be a ninja, and we kept goof around. Well, he he has officially done it. Uh, this guy right here. Fifteen-year-old <clears throat> boy has managed to outdo everybody. Call him Houdini. He always wanted to be a ninja, and we kept goof around. Well, he he has officially done it, because poof, nothing. Has a unique run. Poof, nothing? Help me understand this. Poof, nothing. Houdini, ninja, the fuck? What is he talking about? Because we got snacks, because, you know, he's 15 and snacks. La, 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 la. You don't hold a count. However, this 15-year-old boy has managed to outdo everybody. Call him Houdini. He always wanted to be a ninja, and we kept goof around. Well, he, he has officially done it because poof, nothing. As a unique run, he runs like the, the Naruto anime character. I hate to bring you this, but yeah, this is his mother. I mean, There's Tom. are you kidding me right now? He has a unique run. Thank you, Peyton. I mean, what is that? Do you think at 15... This is what you would say? It's so weird. Hold up. Wait a minute. 
Something ain't right. He runs like a Naruto character, and she calls him a ninja in Houdini. What? Nothing. Has a unique run. He runs. Oh, he said poof, nothing. This 15 year old boy has managed to outdo everybody. Call him Houdini. He always wanted to be a ninja, and we kept goof around. Well, he, he has officially done it because poof, nothing. As a unique run, he runs like the, the Naruto anime character. There's Tom, too. Um, do me a favor. I got to drop out of this. I got to make a phone call real quick. Here's another lie from him. He's on some, like... I don't know what he's on, but he goes, well, there's Tom, too. And then he lies and says this is his daughter. There's Tom, too. Um, do me a favor. I got to drop out of this. I got to make a phone call real quick, and I will be back. This is my okay. call. I don't, okay. care. I, don't, I don't miss this phone call because it's my daughter. Sebastian will say one day he's upset and mad at me for something. And 20 minutes later, will run up to me, throw his arms around me, cry and say, I'm sorry, and I love you. So, you know, when, when you get in trouble, of course you don't like your parents. You know, he said the exact same things about his father. But that's when you set him down and said, look, bud, parents are parents. We got snacks because, you know, he's 15 and snacks. If you call 911 and you're outside of those areas, it goes to a central point, but then they will turn around and ask your location, and then they redirect you to another dispatcher. So I'm confused as in why they're all wondering if myself, my wife, and the biological father took one. When law enforcement agency has come out and told everybody, even in the TBI news link, if you guys hadn't read that, Please go out and read that. That's got a lot of great information in it, especially it's probably the most up-to-date information. But they will even tell you. At this point in time, there is no, they have no reason to speculate foul play, anything on the parents. Everybody's been extremely cooperative of anything and everything they've asked us. It, it does say that in his defense. It does say that there is no evidence of foul play or a crime, but there is no evidence that there wasn't one. So they say they're talking out of both sides of their mouth. It's just like he said. We don't know what we don't know. In other words, we ain't telling you shit. Everything we got is close to our vest, and you're not going to know shit until poof. You've got silver handcuffs. Okay, so here's here's what I will openly say about that. Oh, there um, it is. That's what somebody posted in the comments. So what I will say on that is this. People go through divorces and is is it is not the best of times. So I was not pervy to that kind of information prior to my relationship with my wife. Rob, did he say pervy? You're not pervy. It is, it is it is not the best of times. So I was not pervy to that kind of information prior to my relationship with my wife. Robin is the name. She is Seth, biological father's mom. She made her statement on whatever YouTube channel. That's fine. Um, Thank you, Trev. What I can say on that is real simple. Like I said earlier in, the, in this podcast, kids are going to say things, they're going to get upset because you're a parent and they don't like your answers. Sebastian has said, like I said before, the same thing about his biological father. 
But when you sit your kids down and you explain to them that being a parent, you have to do things that they don't like. Um, an incident that a family member did that as the parents, we had consulted with law enforcement about something they recommended not doing it. Okay. So this, remember, like this happened, your kid- this video was in March, like mid-March, maybe like a month ago. And since then, Nina came out and we found out about the domestic and the custody and all of this stuff. And then we also found out that Sebastian in the, in the past had been essayed. Um, I personally would never have put aired that about my child to the general public when it has nothing to do with searching. But, hey, to each their own. But... At any rate, um, wait, hold on. Kids are going to say things, they're going to get upset because you're a parent and they don't like your answers. Sebastian has said, like I said before, the same thing about his biological father. But when you sit your kids down and you explain to them that being a parent. Okay, so this next part. I think he's kind of trying to tell the story about the essay, but he doesn't say it. I don't know. Like, listen to this part. And I think he's telling the story without telling the story. And maybe that's what prompted Seth to come out with the whole story. But just hear it first and listen really close. You have to do things that they don't like. Um, An incident that a family member did that as the parents, we had consulted with law enforcement about something they recommended not doing it. Lo and behold, something happened and something was done against what we decided. Uh, I reached out to the mom and asked for her help. During that conversation, some accusations got flung uh, in my direction and toward my wife, which the mother or the grandmother actually doesn't have the whole story. She has never once sat down with me, my wife, and gotten the full truth on everything. She's only heard one side of the story. And I can promise you, I've got text messages, I got, and I'm not afraid to show them. I'm not afraid to screenshot them and let the public see it. Now, I will say, unfortunately, none of this has to do with the investigation of our son. So anywhere and everywhere, people be very vigilant. Please be vigilant. You'd be surprised at how complacent we... As- Hold on. Did you guys understand any of that? There was a situation with a family member. Biological father. But when you sit your kids down and you explain to them that incident that a family member did that as the parents we had consulted with law enforcement about something they recommended not doing it lo and behold something happened and something was done against what we decided is that the gofundme they were mad about i see Uh, I reached out to the mom and asked for her help. During that conversation, some accusations got flung uh, in my direction and toward my wife, which the mother or the grandmother actually doesn't have the whole story. She has never once sat down with me, my wife, and gotten the full truth on everything. She's only heard one side of the story. And I can promise you, I've got text messages, I got, and I'm not afraid to show them. I'm not afraid to screenshot them and let the public see it. Now, I will say, unfortunately, none of this has to do with the investigation of our son. So anywhere and everywhere. I don't know what that very was about. Vigilant. Please be vigilant. You'd be surprised at how complacent we. As- Terry Lynn, is he talking about the GoFundMe? You don't have to, I mean, I don't expect you to say what it is, but is it the GoFundMe? Or was it the essay story? 
That's what I thought, Terry Lynn. But but what's not making sense is that he said there was an incident with a family member. And that's not what originally was said. It was said that they let a 13-year-old, was that a member of Chris Proudfoot's family then? <gasps> oh, shit. Was that a... Mm. Okay, so all Seth said was that they let a 13-year-old kid around Sebastian and that he took his innocence. Chris Proudfoot just said it was a situation with a family member. They wanted to go to law enforcement, but I bet you the family member... They didn't because it was a, it was within their family. So they hid S.A. But who was the boy that essayed? Sebastian. Was it was it whose side of the family? A family member. He wouldn't have said that if it wasn't his family. SL, the guy had been in prison for nine years. Hmm. It's awful. I've got text messages, I got, and I'm not afraid to show them. I'm not flung. Flung? I see what happened. No, no, no. Because you're a parent. Mm-mm. But when you sit your kids down. I think I know what happened. Before, the same thing about him. I think I know what he's Parent, and they don't like your answers. Sebastian has said, like I said before, the same thing about his biological father. But when you sit your kids down and you explain to them that being a parent, you have to do things that they don't like. Um, An incident that a family member did. An incident that a family member did. As the parents, we had consulted with law enforcement about something. As the parents, we consulted with law enforcement about something. Remember, Seth said nothing happened to the kid because of their age. Because of their age. But did this essay happen in Tennessee or California? Because Seth said it was the law in California. I'm confused. I'm really confused. That a family member did. Because why would, why would, Chris Proudfoot's family be in California. Haven't they always lived in Tennessee? Okay, then it can't be really like Chris Proudfoot's family. Did they live in California? But then he says, I got flung or accusations got flung my way. 
And there's no state in this country that allows a 13-year-old to essay an 8-year-old. I know y'all have this torch you carry for Seth, but that's not true. That doesn't even make sense. If you go to the police and you say, my eight-year-old was essayed by this 13-year-old, you think the cops are going to go, um, yeah, we're not going to take that report because he's 13. There's nothing we can do. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sir. The, the, oh, 13? No, there, we can't touch that. There's some bad shit both ways, man. I'm telling you, there is bad shit going both ways. Seven, eight, whatever. It's not legal for anyone to essay no matter how old you are. If you're 13 and you essay a seven-year-old, they're not going to go, oh, I'm sorry. We can't, we can't do anything about this. I ain't buying it. Maybe this is all the silence. Maybe they have to dig into a mess in a whole nother state. Hmm. You're awesome. Isn't it interesting, though? How old is Faith? Is she seven? Hold his faith. Well, obviously a 13-year-old as saying a 7-year-old, obviously the 13-year-old needs help, but they're not just going to turn a blind eye to it. You're not going to know what happens. They're not going to blast it in the public, but they're not going to ignore it. Faith is seven. So she's seven. The same age that Sebastian was when this happened. And Seth doesn't know who the 13-year-old is. None of this makes sense. I don't know who he was. I will look up the law, but I'm still not buying that that would be ignored and they'd go, oh, you guys deal with it at home. Oh, you know what? Oh, you're 13? Oh, you're not 14 yet. Okay. Just, you know what? You guys just go home. We're going to act like this never happened. It doesn't work that way. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to go on that. I can have Terry Lynn on. We can plan a live, and we'll go deeper into that. I I don't know. I just thought it was a weird comment. Let's finish listening to the video. They recommended not doing it. 
lo and behold, something happened and something was done against what we decided. Uh, I reached out to the mom and asked for her help. During that conversation, some accusations got flung uh, in my direction and toward my wife, which the mother or the grandmother actually doesn't have the whole story. She has never once sat down with me, my wife, and gotten the full truth on everything. She's only heard one side of the story. And I can promise you, I've got text messages, I got, and I'm not afraid to show them. I'm not afraid to screenshot them and let the public see it. Now, I will say, unfortunately, none of this has to do with the investigation of our son. So anywhere and everywhere, people be very vigilant. Please be vigilant. You'd be surprised at how complacent we as society get when we're not focused on things. We're so driven on our day-to-day functions that we forget about things that are going on around us. We're all guilty, myself included. You know, anywhere and everywhere you can look. If there's if there's not a flyer and you can print one off and post it up where you don't see a flyer, please do. We, I'm speaking for all three parents and the, all the families. We would greatly appreciate that. We send prayers, our thoughts, and our love out to everyone. I promise you. That's the end of the clips. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, how many, how many flyers have they hung? How many flyers have they hung? I don't know, man. Unbelievable, y'all. Unbelievable. I don't know. We can go deeper into this, though. It's it's a lot. I mean, if you go back and, and replay this and just listen, when you break their shit down, like, they're, they talk so much that it's just a bunch of words. The past needs to die. I caught that as well, KCJ. Okay, I have one question before we end for this. Oh, I know. I don't want his prayers. I don't know what the fuck he prays to, but that dude ain't right. And neither is Mona Lisa. I don't know what in the hell is going on there, but I have one thing to ask, okay? I'm not judging anyone in this, but I do know that there is a 15-year-old boy who hasn't been seen in almost two months. So I ask you this. We've put this pressure on these two. We really have. I mean, Seth has been out there, you know, recently, like, but my question is, these people came out first. And I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm asking. Because a lot of you have watched a lot more than I have. You've watched way more live streams than I have. Where was Seth in those first couple weeks? I know that we're all behind him and the searching and everything else. But why wasn't anybody hard on him for not coming out and screaming from the fucking rooftops in the very beginning? How come there was no interviews? I'm just wondering. You guys all say he was searching. Terry Lynn, he was searching because I was searching with him in the very beginning. So you met him early on. See, I don't know that. Lisa, I don't need to Google it. I have people here that know. 
He was searching right off the bat. Okay, see, I didn't know that. That's why I said you guys have watched more than I have. Yes, I know Terry Lynn. I've watched her videos. And I knew they checked his house. I knew all of that. So no one, so really that the news didn't pick it up right away until a couple weeks after. Is that what I'm picking up, Terry Lynn? Yeah, I know he doesn't do social media. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch your thing with him. I'm not questioning if he was searching or not. I'm just wondering. I just feel like maybe the maybe the media presence wasn't like it was when he first went missing. Maybe it should have been, right? I feel like it ramped up after. He hit the ground running and he went against them during the initial search being done here local. Went against who? You know, Seth could be cleared by TBI and they may not say that publicly because if they say Seth is cleared and then they don't clear these two shit bags, then what? Oh man, Terry Lynn, that's heavy. Oh, I see. Because Maddie Soto happened, we were all kind of, I gotcha. It was Mona's watch. It really was. I mean, we can't forget that. Um, Mona Lisa was the last one to see him. It was quiet the first few weeks. Yeah, I felt like the first couple of weeks it ramped up. Terry Lynn, I, I appreciate you being here. Um, I want to thank thank you for do everything you've done for Sebastian. I think it's very important that, you know, we recognize the people that are out boots on the ground and here to set records straight. Because I seriously, you know, I wasn't I wasn't accusing him. I just said, I don't know where he was. But I'm glad that I can say and confirm to the 1300 people here that Terry Lynn was out with him searching from day one and that no media was banging on his door to get interviews. It was Riley Strain that dragged the attention from Sebastian and everybody was there just walking around filming. It was, it was maddening, but you know, we didn't know. And that's the thing. It's like, we don't know. And when there's movement in something, everybody gravitates to the movement. Terry, thanks so much. And it's nobody's fault. It's not that nobody wanted to cover it. I think it's just sometimes the way that things go here on YouTube and in the media. But oh my gosh, you guys, I want to thank you so much for being here. We're going to we're going to get something together with Terry Lynn. That'd be awesome. Wait, Jaw, are you joking? Where do you see that? Wait, we're not signing off yet. I know Terry Lynn, you guys give her give her a sub. He came on my channel and answered every question he could. He truly did and he didn't hold back. What is Jaw talking about? I mean, there's just too many red flags around this Proudfoot guy. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Half Pint. Half Pint said that's nowhere near his home. It was the Pearl River in southern Mississippi. Bridget Blaine, Terry Lynn, does the trash truck come at 3 a.m.? K 
Casey, thank you. La, 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 okay. la, la. You don't hold a cow. Thank you. Thank you, Half Pint. Cute name, by the way. And it was an older male. It was confirmed to be an older male in Lawrence County, Mississippi. Not related. Thank you. Thank you, Allie. Terry, I'm going to, is your email on your channel? Because I'll shoot you an email. There's a lot of red flags around the mom, too. I mean, she was the last one to see him, and then there's a lot around him. It's okay, Jaw. The timer was stuck on that video. We'll see. Thank you, Bill, for the bullshit replay crew. Hey, I wonder if Sebastian, when he took the trash out, if he ran like a Naruto character. That's one. Terry, ask Seth if when in the video of Sebastian taking out the trash, if he ran back to the house after leaving the can at the road like a Naruto character. Her channel is on YouTube. <gasps> Gallatin landfill on fire today. Sub up to Terry Lynn. Uh, Shell just put her her link in chat. Mm. Weird. I don't like that. Was it on the news at all, Terry? Did they put it out? Oh, I know Terry Martin. Their trash actually went to Kentucky, but that doesn't mean that they couldn't have dropped trash somewhere else. Yeah, so Sweetie Pie Low, I guess, has a petition. I don't know if, Terry Lynn, you've shared it by now. I will find it, and I'll share it in my community as well. She found it on Smoky Barn. Okay. Thank you, Christina. Alicia saw it on Facebook. I thought they said that it went to a landfill in Kentucky, Terry. That's why they searched a landfill in Kentucky. We have a lot to talk about. So, you know what? We're going to do a clear the air session with Terry Lynn, if she would be gracious enough to come up on panel. Maybe we can set that up for this week and you can clear the air on the facts of this case because you know it inside and out. You are there. You're seeing things firsthand. You have no dog in this fight as far as I know. And I would love to, you know, pick your brain and clear th some things up. Oh, the construction dumpsters did. Got you, got you weird. Uh, 
you know what? I can't wait to read your comments on this. Um, if you notice anything else, let me know in the comments. And if you are replaying, let us know your replay crew. And thank you so much for um, helping me reach 100K tonight. Look at, let's see where we are. 100,144. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is amazing. I just, I can't even believe it. Sunday, April 14th was our day, guys. When we got over that hump. Fuck. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to have long credits tonight because we had so many freaking subscribers. But I just want to say thank you again to Terry Lynn. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for clearing things up. Like I said, um, all of the new members and the gifted members, um, everybody who donated and congratulated me. Thank you for the gifts, girls. It was a it was a monumental time. Gray Pearl, I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Someone has to convince convince me otherwise. Someone has to convince me otherwise. So we're gonna roll our credits on thank you, Heidi. And hey Mandy. Thank you, Gray Pearl. Thank you, one shot. Can you please research who are the RSO in that community? Cobalt. Interesting. Yeah, I can. Yep, I can do. I'm going to do some diving on this and we'll have Terry on. We'll and we'll ask her some questions and things like that. Thank you, protagonist. Thank you for being here. And Pine Needle, I wasn't ignoring you. I was reading your your messages and what you said about California. And I definitely did not want to seem. Like I was not taking that serious. I'm really sorry that that happened to you. And I'm really sorry that someone did that to you. Um, Thank you so much. And thank you, Mods. Thank you, Kendi, again. Brandon Robinson. One, one, wait, one, oh, oh, one, Waltham Court could give a look of aerial views. I'll check that out. Thank you, Brandon Robinson. Shell Bell, thank you. You guys all have a wonderful night. Um, sweet dreams. Thank you, thank you. Heavenly is in Tennessee, so maybe we can get Heavenly hooked up with Terry if they need help. We can definitely talk about that, Heavenly, um, when we have Terry on. Or hop over to her channel. Check her out. She goes live every day, too. We need to know more about the Proudfoot web. Because remember, one thing I want to say, remember Nina said that his mother had a lawyer friend? What other friends do they have swept under the rug? I don't know what's on the docket for tomorrow. All I know is we hit 100K today. So we'll definitely be live at 3 p.m., like we are every Monday and Friday, we will be live at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, no matter what, even if we just sit here and shoot the breeze. So there's a lot of butt joints that we have to cover. And I'm like, Dudley, let's do butt joints together because I don't want to have to do them all by myself. So we'll just shoot here, sit here and shoot the butt joints if we have to. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Thank you again. I hate to drag this out, but I love you. And everybody who donates Super Chats, gifts a membership, becomes a member, buys a piece of merch, whatever, you will get in on the wheel of Friday. We do this every Friday at 3 p.m. because we're live no matter what, Monday, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern. And look at this, guys.
I mean, come on. You can't get better than the Wheel of Friday. You can win merch and all kinds of cool shit, no matter who you are, what you've done. One of those things, I've got goals above me. When we reach the goals, we spin the wheel. So thank you again. Here's our credits. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I wish I could respond to every comment because they all are amazing. Thank you. Where do you think you're going? Oh, wait, I have one more announcement. If you guys didn't see, I was on the ID channel for this show called Mean Girl Murders, and I'm going to release it for members to watch here on YouTube. So be looking for that, members of the channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you weren't able to watch it on cable or if you're in another country, maybe you can't catch it. But um, we're going to do that and um, we'll premiere it with members only chat. All right, guys, I'll see you guys. Here's your credits for real. I love you. Mwah. Where do you think you're going? Nobody's leaving. Nobody's walking out on this fun old fashioned family Christmas. No, no, we're all in this together. to check out my other videos and playlists for more true crime content and if that's not enough you can join our patreon don't have a tinfoil hat it's okay we'll make you one it's that easy see you guys in the next video Jennifer or two Jennifers. Oh. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Bye, Jennifer.